No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm sitting down with what, in my approximation, is the hottest rapper coming out of the rack right oh, now. Yeah. Bonoff 1700, how you feeling, man? I know that. Go, go, go. I'm feeling decent. You and your crew are probably like the most turbulent, chaotic guest experience that we've had in this building in a minute. Bro, I thought that was your security guy. I'm finna say for it's your security guard for. I'm gonna beat his ass after this. Cause he ass tweaking. Okay, what was he doing that was pissing you off? As soon as I come in here, he tell me out some. He got me doing all type of shit. Signing NDA. I never did that before. For real? Yeah, I never did. That's that. normal though. You can sign an NDA when oh, you get the interview. That's my first time ever doing that. Or it's, it's just like a and release. Then, then look, the nigga. To telling us we can't go in the front, we gotta walk this way. Da, da, da. I said, you don't know who I am. You tweaking blood like I'm a regular nigga or something. Yeah, but you know how it goes. Dudes come in with ten people, and all of a sudden they want to wander over to the other yeah. side. We got all this different camera equipment. We got all this kind of shit going on. So y'all calling us? We look like we steal. I'm not saying you look like you steal. We're just trying to avoid an opportunity where anyone could steal. And it's, this building is so big that we try to like kind of sequester different groups it's of people to different say, sides. We, we don't like it. Like, 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 so, so, like, so basically, like, yes, I'm afraid you're going to steal something. We don't, like, we don't like none of this shit. We wouldn't even steal none of this shit. For real? Yeah, we are. We Look, everybody thinks Chicago niggas just like... They own that. We chill as hell. Like, we coming in here trying to kick it. He trying to be tough with us. We chilling. We right in here walking around, chilling. Some might say he was over whooping. Um, put that back in the case. Okay, I don't know how they got right though. Because <laughs> no, I was asking you, I'm like, is this your op? Nah. Because whenever I, I see you doing anything, I figure you're just trolling because I feel like you got such demonic energy. No, I'm chill. I'm be chilling. But he funny as hell, though. Oh, we, he is funny. Yeah, we, yeah, we, <laughs> we ain't in tour with none of them. Nobody, no? We ain't in tour with nobody from ourselves. Okay. I'll outlet. See, okay, that's what I kind of decipher from your shit is that, oh, he's talking about all people that I don't really know about. You just filled in some of the, the blanks for me off camera. Yeah. But in general, you don't really got nothing to say about most of the rappers that people talk about when they talk about Chicago, right? Uh, you got your own little world a, over there, right? just a tad a little, bit. Some, a little tad bit. A little tad bit. Because niggas be clicking up with, with our ops and shit. And mm. shit like what, they all got to come together to face off with y'all? You, you know that. Mm. You, know you, know that. Know, you know that like Kodak. Damn. That's why you don't see some people fuck with me because they be dick around mobs. Really? I wonder. Because we haven't seen like the full Chicago cosigns come in yet. Like we're not really sure who's going to try to like hitch their wagon to what you got going on. Yeah, it's just. Pause. It's just something you'll never see. Really? So there's going to be a lot of people in the game who, who are going to basically act like you don't exist and try to ignore the wave. 100%. Really? Facts. But they can't game. ignore this shit. This shit getting crazy. Shit like at no, I ain't so. even know what I was doing at first. But now, as I'm really starting to see this shit, this shit crazy for real. Like I was in LA. Well, I was. I'm to my man LA. I was in LA. I'm still out here. Like two days ago, I'm just walking. They walking up on me. They know me out here. I'm like, what the. Fuck? Somebody always told me once people know you in LA, that's how you know you you famous for real. Mm. No, nah, that's true for sure. But okay, so I, I'm gonna ask you guys. What what is your impression of him from early on? Because his success in the rap thing is kind of unexpected, right? Hell no, no, no. You knew he, it. Man, he always told me like, like this. Like yeah, I ain't he gonna always. Lie. Told I always him. told him like, man, look, sweaty, your little ass gonna be this. What your ass just need to rap and this what it is. Like, like, what was it? The personality before it was the rapping? I, I don't know. Like it was just air thing. Yeah, 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 his little ass just slow. I ain't gonna lie. He don't like, give no fuck about nothing. He'll come to any motherfucker hood and hey, walk up on a motherfucker like, hey, boy, you don't know me. <laughs> on phone now. Hey, boy, 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 we don't know who the fuck is, <laughs> boy. Hey, boy, your ass tweaking, boy. I'm really? on. Like, on phone now. First time meet a motherfucker, motherfucker looking at his little ass like, what the fuck's wrong with this motherfucker? They always be telling me, like, I used to be trying to do what they was doing and shit, like, be outside and gang bang and shit. They used to be telling me, like, no, like my last like experience like being outside and shit like when I realized like now nah, I need to rap it was with him for now we was outside doing whatever we do or whatever. That's a good now look, we was rap we was outside doing whatever I do. Now we arguing the whole night. Now we arguing the whole night. Now boom. Now I tell his ass like we need to do it. We need to do it. Whatever he say, Vaughn, we in the car. He like four. If you don't stop talking to me, four. He say, matter of fact, you just need to be a rapper. Drop him off, four. Get him out the car, four. He said, get out the car, four. He said, you need to be a rapper, four. Stop coming outside with us, four. Really? I swear to God. Right, because he was trying to do too much. Yeah, basically, yeah, in so many know, words, like in so many words, man. It be so much shit going on. I'm knowing little bro trying to get somewhere for real though. You feel me? Right. So I'm like, man, look. 
this shit gonna get done but you just go on here and do what you gonna do he gonna... so much just don't be giving no f about the rap or nothing but oh he's he just don't so much don't get no f about the rap right. shit he just wanna man f that rap shit f all that shit bro we out we don't get no f about nothing but he's the type of dude who's trying to be involved with the extracurricular activities even when it's not necessary hell yeah he there's a lot of no people f who can handle that yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm telling right now no I'm chilling. after that I'm chilling though when I when I just got locked up that was my last eye opener like I'm done with that shit though okay so you, you're a changed man now yeah certified full time rapper now Okay. I don't got no problems. I might go back to school now or some shit like that. I'm <laughs> Why are you laughing? He's trying to be serious. Exactly. He's trying to have a heart to heart right, over that's here. What's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See? You got demons who are going to suck uh, you back into the muck, man. No, nah, man. They ain't even coming like that. <laughs> Big brother and them, they be proud of me when I be doing shit like this. Like, a lot definitely. of shit. Like, I be telling, like, every day I be telling people, I be like, I'm finna do my no jump interview. Everybody, like, I'm 22. I'm like, yeah, the pansexual nigga. I'm finna do it. Pansexual. <laughs> so. How dare you? You know what pansexual means? Uh, you. No, that means you wake up every day and you pick a different sexuality. I think you do that. No, well, I had the April Fool's Day, so I feel you. But no, bro, I, I swear to God, all I do is just lay pipe in bad bitches. So why you won't lay so I'm a pipe player. So, so you a plumber. So why you won't so lay no home? I'm a plumber. Why you, you, you won't you lay no home, you know? Uh, so, okay, we're gonna have to find you a girl to work with. I bet. But I don't know if you really, all right, like, your music career is doing good. I don't know if you necessarily want to get into the pipe laying game. No, I don't want to get into, I just want to Oh, you just want pipe. I don't want to okay. get into that yet. Not too early. Probably when I start falling off or something, I'll lean on that. Shit, maybe I could find you something. I don't know. These bitches, like, they be listening to techno music. I don't know if we got a lot of drill heads out there. Techno music. Check that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Hey, Wait till y'all y'all be hey, y'all be, be fucking out there. We, you, we, we can't even listen to music while we because it's copyright. Yeah, he be in that bitch with a neon oh, light around wait. his neck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll be in there with a, a, a colorful glow bracelet or some shit. No, do you know how much I miss f***ing off the molly and shit back in the day? So what Now I'm play? stone cold sober on set just smoking weed and drinking coffee. I can't do shit. So you, oh, you, kill, you kill shit off the coffee? I mean, I, I got nothing else coursing through my body. Yeah, but I, I miss the old days of doing Molly, stay yeah. up till 8 in the morning, fucking a bitch. That was the best. It was the best times of my life. Now, I don't really like fucking a bitch for too long. That shit get irritating. Then Bro, the coochie get to drying up. You are shit. so shy rack that. that you even think that fucking a bitch for too long is gay. This is like, no, the, the, I, this is I a deranged never, mentality. I, ain't never I bet you don't eat pussy either. <laughs> nah, I eat coochie. Oh, shit, okay. But You gotta uh, take the mask off because you don't want to fuck Hell no, right? I got real movies with this motherfucker gonna do it really they tell you to leave it on no i don't take no demands from no hoe holy shit well if i say though yeah. not even a request no fuck me with the mask on fuck me with your shiesty on a hoe ain't never <laughs> why, you say, why you gotta say it like that? i'm just a picturing hoe, what they would say no nah, don't do that a hoe ain't never said nothing to me like that though for real no <laughs> hoes be always telling me take my shit off they be want to see my hand shit like everybody think i don't got no fucking hair they think i'm bald head so they be like Take your mask off. Everybody always say that. But as soon as I get in the crib, I take my shit off. Though. Like, as soon as I walk in the house, I take my shit off. Okay. Yeah, I would too. Because, like, having that shit pressed against your hair and your ears and shit, it's got to yeah. be kind of uncomfortable. But now, nah, if right? I know, not as soon as I get in the house, I'm fudging. I'll be in a crib playing the game with my shit on. Like, oh, I'm lying. Right. I'll be keeping my shit on probably, like, when I'm changing my clothes or taking a shower or some shit. Do you think I, I would look cool in it? Or do you think that being, like, a large white man, that's not for me? Yo, he had a, like, a dick. So, your shit gonna look like, <laughs> hey, you put this bitch on, it look like your shit, your shit gonna look like a condom. It's gonna look like a black dick. <laughs> man, you tweaking. <laughs> you tweaking. <laughs> I mean, hey. But look, I got some questions for you though. Oh, good, good. What the fuck do y'all do out here in LA though? Like this shit boring as hell. Man, these days long as hell. The oh, days are long. Yes. I think the days are the same length as at home. <laughs> no, they not. <laughs> no, not. You might wake up and go to sleep at different times, but man, this shit feel like I've been down here for oh, oh my dear homie. I've been down here for like four days. It feel like I've been down for like two weeks. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a 40 year old white man with a kid, so my life is far less interesting than it used to be. But what did I used to do? I used to go to a lot of like underground rap type party warehouse type shows. You could go to like the more official like clubs and shit where you got to spend money and shit if you yeah. if you want to get a table all that gay shit that I don't feel like doing. Uh, <laughs> or you could go to a strip club, you know. Hey, I ain't so really you don't look. be going to the. You don't be in the hood. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, maybe we're filming you. a video. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying, trying to go to hang out and get shot me, at. Find me a motherfucker. <laughs> find me a motherfucker I can squabble with. 
squabble with. We're going to need a problem with him before you squabble. No, I am the problem. I'm going to bring them the problem. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just feel like we're going to need, like, a better reason before we squabble somebody. No, it's a nigga on TikTok. He be riding around L.A. looking for motherfuckers to oh fight. Oh, my God. You know that guy, yes, because I I said on my story, it's, it's a dude who goes on TikTok, and he just, like, Go goes around me. asking people, like, yo, you want to fight? And you they look, fight? they in the comments telling him, like, Go to this hood. Go to this hood. Go to this hood and try to fight somebody. And he be going right there. He be beating their ass. And then he get back in the car. He took one nigga, whole kit. He bounced on a nigga. He... What I'm trying, you trying to fight? Honestly, he be making all of L.A. look bad because he should have been turned into a pack like a while ago if he's what really doing this shit. Damn, so you go around I'm asking for fights down. in random neighborhoods like what what is yeah, what is going on? They better hurry the fuck up, up and kill your ass. Hey, 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 you may not come on North Island. That's not No, fold his ass up. Right, I've been saying motherfucker pull up on me like let. Let's fight. You ain't just gonna kill him. You gonna try to fight him. Like, what you want? You think I'm a bitch? You trying to fight? So, so the motherfucker pull up on you, you gonna, you gonna throw your hands up. You know how. Look, but a motherfucker pull up on us. Look, <laughs> a motherfucker pull up on us, tell us. We trying to fight. We finna beat the fuck out y'all. And if we lose, we gonna murder y'all. I feel like the message of all your music is basically like, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. That's like the message of the music. The so music, like, I, I, yes, I would expect you to spray him. No, look though. I'll fight a nigga though. Bro, I'll fight a nigga. Really? Yeah. There, there are a lot of fights that go on in LA, even in like within the gang culture and shit, but it's like you have to have a level of respect between each other in order for it to even get to that level because if you're really like ops then it's not probably going to be a fight it's going to be a shooting no it's it's plenty it been times where you just seen your ops and you had to fight them it ain't always like yeah, maybe at the mall or some shit yeah, ain't always. but out here I'm going to be real like if you don't got a gun on you then like what kind of gang member are you I'm shit. I, I know my ops will never be down here. My ops broke and dead, so I'm yeah, cool. Man, man. Yeah, and I ain't into it with no niggas out here, so I am feel like I'm cool in LA. Oh, yeah, you probably super good out here. Yeah, I mean, you walking around with Mr. Disrespectful doing fucking music videos, walking around Hollywood, and I'm thinking, like, these dudes are both kind of, like, top priority in yeah. their section. Yeah. But meanwhile, you come to Hollywood, and you can just be shooting a video. It's all yeah, good. Facts. That's my boy. Nah, I think yeah. he down here. He is right now, too? Yeah, I'm going to get up with him. His interview is one of the best ones I've done in recent memory. And he's another dude, though, where I didn't really know what the shape of his head would look like without the shiesty. So when <laughs> I seen him in real life, I was kind of like, oh, all right. Like, where I feel I would feel the same way right now if you were to take yeah. that off. No, I ain't taking my shit off. But my shit, I got a decent size shape. Yeah, like, my shit, like, it ain't no weird type Oh, so you shit. do keep your hair looking good? Uh, Yeah, I be getting haircuts and shit. But I put my mask right back on. Bro, them be getting. Brand yeah, that's offensive. Mask, they don't like that. No, yeah, they be getting mad at me when I do that. Even if you just put a hat on, they get kind of mad. Fuck yeah, with his black care. spray. <laughs> oh, boy, I get black. You be getting black spray? What is that? It's like enhancements. Like, once they line your shit up, they spray the shit on there and make your shit look. How J-Main shit be over black right here? Oh, really? Yeah, well, his, well you know he ball that, and it be over black <laughs> right there. That's what black spray is. They get them together like that. They spray, like, they basically spray some hell on for Man, a, I, don't, for I'm, I don't know. Like, when you are actually up close with J-Main and you see this little, like, wave that he puts in his hairline yeah. and shit, it be looking kind of weak. Like, yeah. it, like I don't know. That's really, like some 2013 type shit. He's holding on. Like, that hairline, like, he but might have to go to Turkey. But soon. that's him. Nah, that's him though. That's him though. So you can't really like your shit fuck too. But oh yeah, but I had multiple surgeries. Mine's just growing back oh, in right now. Surgery? I got my my shit fixed up like two months ago in Turkey. Yeah. So I'm waiting. Right, it's growing in yeah. like way better, but it still Damn. looks kind of. So you got head surgery? Yeah. LeBron had got that shit too, right? Hell yeah. But his shit had like put y'all hair back yeah, in. Yeah, what they do? Though. They go in. They take like one by one. They take the hair follicles out of the back of your hair and then they move them to the front. Yeah. Oh, oh, so it's like that Cause my shit like that too Like I got a lot of hair in the back But like up here my shit like Be looking a little short I seen Muslim dudes out there Getting it taken out of their chest And putting oh, their no, hair they too They tweaking They yeah. tweaking I guess they don't got enough hair in the back They hair gonna they be stinking gone. like a motherfucker It's a wild experience <laughs> But I, honestly like as a dude What other plastic surgery are you gonna get? I don't know I, Bitches I got think... a million different things that they get We don't got nothing Cause we don't We ain't need all that You a dominant man You ain't supposed to need all that I'm saying but your hairline Is like the one thing That could like really make you Look younger And like look better Like chicks Chicks are judging you Massively on your hairline Even if like You don't really realize it Until you get a little man, older I don't want a long ass time Without getting a haircut And fuck some bad ass hoes mm. Like And I be rough And as soon as I lay down With them I be like I ain't got no haircut I think not getting a haircut is like the boldest thing you can do as a black man. Why you say that? Because it just is, it's like a look that is so frowned upon within the culture that if you have the, the, the ego and the boldness to actually rock it, then you're basically like a superhero. 
Yeah, I come outside with my head nappy as fuck. I don't really be caring about that shit. Like, I stopped caring about my hair a long ass time ago. Like, right. I used to always get haircuts. Like, my OG used to make me get haircuts all the time and shit. Like, I mean, my, really, that shit keeps people in poverty. You spending a hundred dollars every week or whatever to get nah, your fucking it hair fixed week. up. It wasn't every week. It was probably like every time my shit get a little nappy or some shit. But a lot of people get it done once a week or like twice a week, and a, a lot of people are paying a shitload of money for their fucking haircut. I feel like that shit. Like, if you really want to like build something for yourself in life, and if you don't get your haircut all through your twenties, you probably buy a house at the end of that. It might not be the best house, but you buy something. No, nah, I don't know. Our haircuts in the trench be like twenty dollars, fifty dollars. Twenty dollars? Oh shit! Man. Yeah, fifty dollars. They That's fifty. They market. fifty now, but like back then they used to be like twenty. Shit, I have the full pull up on me, so it might be like hundred fifty. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you doing house calls and shit. Yeah, yeah. Really, well, motherfuckers be trying to do that now when they act too important. But I be feeling like <laughs> a motherfucker ain't gonna do nothing to me, so I fuck around, do some goofy shit, and go to the barber shop and then. But you on mega alert when you're in the barber shop? Uh, my OG do hell, so I go to her shop and I be in that bitch chilling with my OG. You gonna be falling asleep at Charleston White and getting your nah. ass smacked? Charleston that? White is a fucking goofy. I ain't never seen that though. But <laughs> uh, there's a clip of him where he's like falling asleep in the chair. And Somebody walks up and smacks the shit out of him. Yeah. Wait, why don't you like Charleston White? He a goofy. He just be doing goofy. He be tweaking. Like, I give him that. Like, he be saying some gangsta ass shit, but he a goofy, though. Okay. Like, he funny, but he a goofy. Like, that's, sometimes that shit don't be funny. Sometimes it be funny a little bit, and then sometimes it be, like, too much, but... Yeah, when I seen him that's praying for all the BDs and GDs to die, that was a moment yeah, that was where I was like, shit. oh, okay. That. Yeah, that's like, the, he, you don't know like him? A, he, he, a old, he's from Texas. He's an old troll and yeah, ass. He like me, but he's 60, for. Oh, he need to get that shit up. He be too. No, this shit got him rich. He used to be like some type of community service nigga in, in, in Texas. Mm -hmm. for well, he, had, he got a body, too. He got a body. He got a body. He did like. 10, 15 years in jail. And like, Who, then he came he out. For a while, he was out here trying to link with the Crips and shit, and they weren't really fucking with him. He was at Nipsey Hussle's funeral, which was in like 2019 or some shit. That's like. make it to the funeral. They, they, they were fucking with him at that time, but then he like soon after gave up on the street life and he just started talking shit about the oh, gang yeah, members started, on, on all different interviews and shit. To, like, if he see this, he gonna start talking about us. Saying, oh, for fuck sure. our dead homies, all type of shit. Like, he know what's up with that shit. And he know. Yeah, he, he, look, <laughs> no. He like worked with the police, shorty. Mm -hmm. If you say you gonna, gonna do, look, shit, look you know how you, how you on parole, better. He will call your parole officer and say you bullied him on social media and get you locked up for cyber bullying. Ain't no parole no more, so I, don't even I know. seen he, he called the cops on King Yellow. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> and like probably a bunch of other That's Chicago two police people niggas yeah. playing rat games. That's so they call the police on each other. I don't know, but the, I don't I think Yellow did it. Yeah, Yellow ain't do it, but he called the police on him though. That's, that nigga crazy. He be too. Yeah, if you threaten him too much, I'll call the cops on you. It's a whole thing. The nigga may soldier boy, all type of shit. He yeah, yeah. Him. Yes. Because well, he was at Rolling Loud. Uh, yeah. And like Rolling Loud, he's outside, you know, you're younger, maybe I'll get into I'll Rolling be, Loud be, with I'll the be, thing. Yeah, so yeah, he just outside with the pepper spray. Soldier boy and his crew start walking up. Yeah. Just a big old cloud of that shit. Yeah, uh, we would toast though. Hell, I ain't gonna lie. I run to Charleston <laughs> White though. I, I, he be moving with security. He tweaking. You basing us and shit. He's got, I mean, I he think go, he do. Bro. I think he do. But he got beat up at like multiple comedy shows. No, I seen when somebody ran up on stage yeah, on this yeah, shit. Yeah. They got on his They're ass. Jumping. Oh, that was him. Yeah, they jumped oh, on the stage. <laughs> Them up on stage, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I see that. Yeah, they, yeah, they fucked him up. Yeah, no, nah, he is, he's entertaining. He is a smart guy. He's got a lot of like good opinions and like good shit to say. But then he also be saying a lot. Of no, he shit. say a lot of good. Like, like I ain't never agree. I never everybody. agreed with him. Like um, mm. anything he said, I never agreed with him because it'd be goofy shit. Like he be speaking on street shit. You ain't. I don't give a fuck about that body you talking about he got, but he ain't never did no gangster shit. Like that body, that that's what I'm saying. The, the gangster yeah, body he, he got, right, that shit probably not even no gangster shit. That probably shit on some just some. You don't respect somebody for having one body. I don't you give no fuck. How many five. bodies you got? If you a bitch, you a bitch. You can go yeah. kill a, a thousand motherfuckers. Yeah, So okay, break. it's easy to kill somebody. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. Kill a motherfucker. Well, I really respect that opinion since a lot of people, especially in Chicago, act like that's the coolest thing in the world. That shit the easiest is you can go kill a motherfucker so easy. So if a motherfucker out here somehow they kill a motherfucker. Uh, uh, niggas turn to killers every day. It's probably a nigga who turned to a killer last night. Like mm. niggas, that shit easy. Really? Yeah. You don't see the people that you know who have killed someone like changing in terms of their personality or how they carry themselves no, afterwards? Nick, all the motherfuckers I know that hurt people play all day. We laugh and play all day. Really? Yes. Wow. I feel like it would fuck me up. That's probably because <laughs> the person you is. 
<laughs> you see what I'm like, look, now look, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you know, maybe I, I can put it behind myself at some point, but I feel like for a while, <laughs> you would be tough. Him and be a bitch like that's the bitch ass shit you done killed this man and now you thinking about the shit you should never did it right? so, so if I even think about, about it I'm gonna tell you I'm not telling yourself. No, I'm not gonna tell him myself hell no 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 I know somebody who did that or I know there's an old school rapper G Depp who did that he like basically like tried to rob somebody shot him killed him and then 20 years later he turned the, himself into the cops and ended up doing 13 years for it I thought uh, I thought uh, there's no statute of limitations on murder hell no well, hey, that's the one well, crime that there's no statute on you a hundred years though my grubber. on form I just seen that video of the nigga uh on bros, and they got pulled over by the police. Mm. And they told his ass like he was on the run for a body for like 12 years or some shit. He was acting like he ain't know. For real? Yeah, he, I would have shook it on their ass. I, I would have dead up out of there. I wouldn't even pull it over for their ass. We don't fuck about none of that. <laughs> That's crazy, because when we had uh, 757 Big BA on here the other day, he uh, got picked up right after the interview. Yeah, that shit's so lame. From I murder from 2017. That shit lame. See, I think he going to beat that shit, though. Because mm. look, it took them too long to come get him up. So right. it's like you gotta wonder what kind of evidence they got yeah, at that point. Like, it took too long, so I don't know. I think he's gonna beat that shot. Fuck, it's so crazy. I was just on the phone with all of them. Like, oh, so you know all them? On, okay, they was on some troll and shit. Like everybody was on that bitch. Uh, uh, Rico Reckless. Uh, oh shit, who the fuck was all on that? Rico Reckless, Ewald Samuel. Uh, who the? F it was everybody on that bitch. No Limit, Cairo. On a phone uh, call or was this like yeah, a clubhouse thing or something? Group. We was on a group Facetime. Like all our numbers oh, was in there. Uh, EBK Juvie was on there. Uh, Fonzo was on that bitch. I was on that bitch. We was on there tweaking. What was everybody talking about? We were just trolling each other. Like we were just trolling. Then like two weeks later, that shit happened. He got locked up. Wow. Those are all people you get along with in that, though? Uh, Yeah, we ain't a tour. I ain't a tour with none of them. They ain't. They don't be yeah, with none of my ops and none of that shit. So we ain't really like. All right. We people think like everybody in tour with everybody. It's not some niggas just be clicked up with different niggas. So that's how more end up getting into it. But mm. or they just be over dick, dick around, around yeah. And it's like now you now, now you you, you finna get on your yeah, ass because you, mm. you doing too so much. You steady want to grab food now. Yeah, but we on your ass. Mm. We be chilling though now. I. <clears throat> I don't want to be in tour with us no more right now. Really? Yeah. Because <clears throat> you're blowing up or just because other uh, shit? Uh, some other shit. They weird. Before motherfucker got hot, they want to be in tour. Oh, my damn. They, they scared of that yeah. shit was over with already. Before this shit happened. Yeah, and the ops, it's like, it's like four of them left on each side. Like, like, like real members. I ain't going to say four of them left, but it's like four members left. Like, all right, once they pass away, it's over with for their ass. So you're like shaming them for clicking up, but if there's only a handful of people that are really gang members from each side, then of course they got to nah, click they, up at a certain listen, point, right? They've been clicked up, up for forever. a long time. They shame us for clicking up. We ain't, we, we ain't even clicked up, though, but oh, okay. we just like Shit. locked in, though. Uh -huh. These are our brothers. We ain't exactly. probably shit clicked up. Right. But they real life clicked up like they had come from the west side, from the south side, to and everywhere. then come together. And then go get some motherfuckers from the east side to hang with the motherfuckers from the south side. And now they all over here. Mm -hmm. So now we looking at these niggas like, damn, can we even come around y'all? Because y'all be with these niggas. Like, it's a lot of motherfuckers like from out south and over east and shit that was fucking with me posting my shit. And I'm like, damn, he just posted my shit. But he be with the off though. So it's like, damn, do he really fuck with me? Or it's just, but half of them niggas really be fucking with me. Like, oh, when I get on the phone with them, they be like, man, I don't really fuck with them niggas like that. I don't know them niggas like that. But so are you are you in a position where you could kind of fuck with a lot of different people in Chicago because you don't have beef with all the rappers from the South Side? Yeah, facts. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's why I fuck with a lot of rappers. Like, T-Ski, Big Op, all them. Shout out to I, I fuck with all them. Like, because they ain't none of them are two of my ops. I mean, clicked out my ops. So right. we all... I feel like you and T-Ski and like a few other people are kind of like, that's the new generation of Chicago where the sound has kind of changed up and it's just, there's a little bit of a different vibe with the new generation. I'm for them, yeah, that shit. That's fact. Everybody keeps saying that. Every, uh, everywhere I went, everybody keeps telling me I was, I bring back the sound from like 2012 and that shit was crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't never think that shit. Like, everybody was like, well, when they first heard Chief Keef, that's how I feel when they hear my music. Mm. I was like, that shit crazy. But I, I kind of feel like your shit ticks like hints from some of the New York drill and shit where you're rapping like faster than a lot of other people. Yeah. And I don't know. It's like, it, like a lot of like older drill, they rapping slow as fuck. Yeah. And then now like a lot of the New York shit has got faster, but a lot of the Chicago shit kind of sounds like slower and more old school in comparison. I feel like your shit sounds fresh, even yeah. though it still sounds like Chicago. Yeah, I don't know how I really started doing that shit. That shit just come to my head for real. So it's just like that should be coming out how it sounded. So you, who would you consider influential on your flow? Uh, probably Polo. I be listening to Polo a lot, so it's like. But I feel like he's the opposite of your flow. 
Now you know Polo used to be rapping for like and back, when he does rap it's yeah, still that's hard. What I yeah, I say he used to be rapping like all that shit. He just to me he just well he been singing and shit, but rapping though like he really used to. I got on him when he was rapping like mm. all his remixes and shit. That's what's up. Yeah, you know he's he's definitely like one of the most talented dudes of the last ten years out of Chicago for sure. He belongs yeah. in the the conversation. But okay, describe where you're from for people that are a little bit confused about it and and where they're from and how y'all all linked up. Give me a little I bit look, of history. I'm gonna tell y'all. I right, look. So I'm from the west side, the west side of Chicago. Boom. I'm from the Austin community. <laughs> okay. I'm off North Avenue and Lamb. That's where we are from. Me. Okay. He is. From the west side of Chicago, the Austin area, literally one, two, three blocks over from my block. Mm. Yeah. So it's like See, they on North Avenue. I'm on Bayfield. They on Division, North yeah. Avenue and Division, yeah, right division. down it. That's right, right, right down the street. Right and like in a, well, literally like it's the like next main, box, man. yeah, the next main street over. It's all in the box. We all in the same box. box. So mm. it's like, see, that we gonna get into it with each other or uh, be with each other, to it with each other. And so happened, we end up up the same people so mm. that's just how it go yeah. and the niggas like look clicking up is like I right, boom they just fucked us up we need some help, help to go to hurt that's these niggas do. Right. we got locked in by damn y'all just fucked them up we just fucked them up too <laughs> then it's like on some cordial shit and now we just hanging with each other cause now we forced to be with each other cause these niggas with seven other niggas so it's like who we go we can't be in tour with everybody we gotta be cool with somebody mm. so it's like this bro them and like we locked in. Has your area of Chicago been this divided for a long ass time, or is this every, kinda like just the new version of Chicago where you got like nah, every, every hood feels the need to beef with the other people a couple shit blocks just away? Like, this shit just like the old block beef. They've been into it the longest that's that shit been going on. Mm -hmm. Like twenty since twenty twelve, twenty eleven and shit like that. These be some long this shit always been like this. Like everybody who went to it right now. They either been halfway into it or been wanting to get into it or been into it. So it's like, it ain't no like, oh, we was cool with them, now we into it. It's like that some slight times, but mm -hmm. most of the time this shit been going on. Like a motherfucker been got killed a long time ago and now that shit just been going back and forth. Right. Okay. So uh, what was your family situation like? What you mean? Like my OG? Your parents and shit, yeah. Uh, I, my OG and my real daddy stopped talking like when I was like... I wouldn't say when I was born. No, not when I was born. I think I was with my daddy for like three years. I don't really remember shit from my being a baby. But mm -hmm. my I got a step daddy and shit. He cool. I've been with him since I was like I got memories with him from like when I was like nine and shit. So I've been with him for a little minute. Okay. So my OG though, she used to be on my back though, my OG. But I ain't really left like in the beginning, I ain't never really used to listen to my stepdad. I wasn't really on that. And then but when I grew up and shit and I actually knew this like he a cool dude and shit, like I locked in with them. Did your parents understand the street life that was right outside that was kind of always tempting you? Uh, My OG ain't, she used to be on my ass. My stepdaddy ain't never really talked to me about the shit. Like, about me being in the streets, he never used to talk about me. Because I used to have shit good as hell. Like, as a kid, like, I used to have shit. Like, I'd be outside doing bad shit, then come in the crib and play the game all day. Like, uh -huh. so they'd be thinking, like, he just played the game all day. But I used to be outside and shit. But my OG, though, all my uncles and shit, all my uncles, they been the gang banging and shit. So I always used to want to be like my uncles. My OG never used to be getting on my ass like, you ain't going to be like your uncles. You going to be like your uncles. Da, 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 my uncle this. Da, 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 da. The every time I used to try to go to the hood, she would just snatch me up. Like, it was one day I was outside with my uncle. I'm out from, like, 8 to, like, I didn't even get to stay out long. I don't know how she found me for. She just pulled up. It was thunder and raining, too. We was in the hood. It was thunder and raining. We was standing in the gangway for. The lady got out the car for and came to the gangway and told me to get in the car. I don't know how she found me. I swear to God, I don't know how she found me. Well, But she used to be on my back, though. Mm, definitely. So when did you start to like hop off the porch or when did like you realize like when when you really get like interested in what was going on outside? Uh, I always been interested because I used to know what was going on like since I was a shorty like my uncle got killed in like 2011 and ever since then I've been knowing what's going on like no troll and shit like if motherfucker get fucked up I'm gonna know because it's like I was around and shit the motherfuckers in my household was promoting the shit so it's like I knew what was going on like I was always hip to like Oh, this motherfucker just got shot up. This motherfucker just got shot up. This going on. This going on. So it's like, 
it can't give you no exact time I jumped out the porch until I started doing the shit I wanted to do myself, like 16 and shit like that. When I found out, when the motherfuckers I grew up with, we started doing it ourselves, like 16, 15, when we started being bad and shit. Okay. And now that's some heavy shit for a young kid, though. Like, do, did you have, like, a plan for your life before that shit kind of took hold? Like, were you thinking about going to college ever at any point or did not like get that before, far? before, like what? Like before you fully kind of got uh, in the Hell yeah, everybody did. Everybody wanted to play basketball, do all type of shit. Everybody, I don't give no fuck who you is. If you was in a, if you a street nigga right now to this day, nine out of 10 street niggas want to be a hooper or mm -hmm. some shit. And if they tell you they didn't, they ass is lying. Go so, hell uh, yeah, they lying. Everybody yeah, wanted to be a hooper. We all thought we was going to before the street. Before the show, <laughs> before, day, before, before the streets, <laughs> everybody <laughs> wanted to hoop, bro. We so all thought like, we was going to the That shit day. just turned your life. The streets to your life up like right i be telling that now like when i fell back off like doing the hot shit we was doing every day being outside my life turned around like mm. when i just put myself in the studio and stop bro them be calling me get outside other than now i'm cool right now my big brother used to be telling me, like he had tested me like come on come on we come on now nah, but i'm going to the studio <laughs> He and they, knocking they, self in and that they, fell, and they boy, fell back off me. I like, couldn't even believe that shit. I called him. My boy, your bitch ass ain't coming outside today, boy. Come on, boy. We finna go. Look, you know what time it is. He, nah, I'm chilling. Nah, but I'm, went, I'm in the studio today, boy. But like, you were acting like they told you to stop doing street shit. Now you're did, saying that bro. you chose to now, focus on the Now, rap. look, I did. Like, when I, I told you, when I, got, when I got locked up, I had end up getting locked up on some goofy shit, mm -hmm. playing around, like, doing, like, you know, I was outside. You know, doing the everyday life shit, boom, I get booked. When I get booked, they try to overslay me. They try to hit me with some shit. They try to overcharge me with some shit. Like, if I would've got charged with it, I wouldn't even be right here right now. Y'all less probably wouldn't even know me for. This before I drop mm. on deck, any of that. This before I drop on deck, free brick, any of that. Mm. They try to charge me with some crazy shit. Now, uh, boom. I end up getting out from the station. Uh, they uh, ain't have enough evidence to charge me or my homie with the shit, so I end up getting out for the station. I just had to uh, go to court for the car. Now I'm blind, on bro. No, I went. I actually went to the county, on bro. I went to the county for the uh, for the stolen car. Boom. I sat in the county for like three days. Had one of my little years. I got I got bonded out. Boom. I bonded out. I get put on house arrest. Now I'm on house arrest. When I'm on house arrest, really when I was in the station, for when I was in the station, and when I was in and while I was doing did the little three days in the county. I had dropped, like, I had just came home. I had dropped a song uh, called Pop Out. That bitch went crazy when I first came home. Now, boom, when I get locked up, as soon as I get in the station, I, my glass, I ain't have my glasses on because I lost my shit on a, when I was running this shit. Mm. I look up, a nigga like, man, I know you from somewhere. I'm, yeah, I be rapping this shit. Da, 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 da. He said, you Vaughn, he, I'm, yeah, he, man, where your glasses at? I mean, look, I lost my shit running from the police. Now, this nigga <laughs> shocked, like, did you really write him? Yeah, this this before I dropped free brick on deck, any of that. They mm -hmm. he like, why how you get locked up? Or I tell him the story, or whatever, boom. Now as soon as I get like in my cell when they put me on deck and shit, I'm just thinking like, on bro, I'm all supposed to be in here. Like, this is like my third time going to jail. I went to I got locked up the first time, then this time, and then I got locked up for this little shit just sitting there. I'm like, I don't supposed to be in here, gang. And in the station, I'm steady telling myself like, I'm a goofy. And then once they told me that they ain't charged us with the shit, that's when it really hit me. Like, I could have just been lost in this shit. Like, you know, like, I could have been gone. Mm. For, I, right now, I probably would have been in the joint right now doing, like, heavy time, like a dub for that dumb ass shit. Right. And I would I just c clicked in. Like, once I get out, I'm finna rap. Every, every deck I went on, I went on, like, two decks for, the, like, the three days. They kept moving me. Every deck I went on, a motherfucker knew me. Every single deck. They, oh, you fun. Like, as soon as I walk on the deck, I ain't even got to say, like, where I'm from or none of that. Because everybody was like, that's fun, that's fun, that's fun. That's crazy. So, like, Chicago streets being that aware of a new rapper as soon as you come out. Like, that's... Yeah. Like people talk about Chicago, but like people underestimate the extent to which like the local community and shit is so tapped into what's going on with new rappers and shit. Yeah. That's wild. Uh, cause it's like, and I them one motherfuckers from out west, those motherfuckers from like over out south and over east and shit. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers from out south and over east, they be fucking motherfuckers from out, out over out west heavy. Like all the rappers and shit. Like I don't know why, but it was mostly motherfuckers from out south who fucked with me when I came on deck. Like, they, you Vaughn, I'm like, yeah, it's probably because they never seen me before. I don't be out south. So it's like, I am like a rapper to them because they never seen me before. Mm. So when they see me, they kind of be like, damn. Hard for them to accept somebody yeah. like from their neighborhood, never mind somebody they beef with from down the street. But like, you guys are like, it's still Chicago, but it's like a little bit of a different world. Yeah, facts. Definitely. Um, okay, so 
That was when you decided to actually get serious about the rap shit? Yeah, when I came home, I came home, I was on house arrest. Uh, I'm just saying everybody turn up. Like, everybody was turning up. And I really wanted to be a rapper for, like, that. Once school and shit, once I dropped out of school and shit, I knew I wasn't going playing basketball no more. When do I want doing that? I was like, that's the only way, rapping. Were you like, doing all right was, in school? What kind of student were you? I was I just fucked up as soon as I got in ninth grade. Like, my first year, I fucked up. You know, they say that's your most important year. My GPA was like a 2.7, a 2.5. Because I was trying to follow up behind my big brother. My big brother had clout, and uh, he was two grades ahead of me. So when I got in school, as soon as I come to school, I was a freshman. Everybody like, oh, that's DJ little brother. That's DJ little brother. So everybody knew me. They knew my brother. So everybody knew me. Where'd your brother have like, clout from? Uh, uh, he was he played basketball, okay. and he had fucked his hole in a, uh, in a, in a gym, in a basketball uh, locker room. And everybody knew about everybody it? Everybody knew about it. The video. There was a video? Played, yeah, it was a video. <laughs> he was making a bitch say his name and shit. What the <laughs> f***? Oh, no. A video with audio too. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, no. he told they, they, look, they posted so... the they sent the video around on kick, nigga. That's how old this shit was. The video was on kick. You remember Shout kick? Out kick? Yeah, K I K. Yeah, the yeah. video was on kick on Burnham. Everybody knew me. They were like that DJ Lover. And I just got caught up. Like high school, middle school, we used to skip class and shit, but not the whole class. We would probably do half, go in the bathroom, then go back in the class. Mm. High school, I got to tweaking, like, missing first period, probably go to second period, miss third period, skip fourth period, go to the lunch, then my fourth period, I'm in my lunch period, then I'm going to the gym, and then seventh period, I'm gone. So I'm missing sixth, fifth, and seventh period. So it's like, I was in that bitch tweaking. Like, I had low grades in gym. I wasn't even dressing out for gym and shit. Mm. I just go straight home to the crib and play the game. Right. Definitely. Would you say you were like a popular kid? Uh, I had like a little bit of clout, but I went over that because we was fucked up. Like, so we didn't have a lot of clothes and shit. So it was like, I used to be chilling. Hmm. I wasn't really like no one. I was a class clown, though, for sure, though. You always had the sense of humor and the personality? Yeah, I play all day in school. That's how I used to be steady getting kicked out of class, all that type of shit. Right. Definitely. So, yeah, because I feel like some people assume like they look at you with the glasses and shit and they feel like you were probably like kind of a nerd at a certain point but yeah. then when you actually talk to you never mind listen to the music you don't get that vibe at all i, ain't I feel lie. like that's part of the appeal the nerd i'm not gonna lie i'm not no dumb nigga i'm smart but niggas motherfuckers are too slow as hell just because i got on glasses if i take yeah. my glasses off what y'all gonna say i look like a killer right that shit just they are stupid but that should be funny i'll be reading the comment that should be funny like i really can't see those so that's why i got glasses <laughs> i had glasses for like 10 years why you uh, take them off uh i got eye surgery uh, everybody Damn. keep telling me to do that, but I don't want to do that, that though. Cause made look, you see better for real? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, everybody keep telling me to get eye surgery, but I don't want to do that because my glasses fit my face. Like, this the first pair of glasses I ever got. Like, the same one. I didn't broke them, like, twice, but I put the same order in for mm. these ones. Like, these ones just fit my face perfect. Because when I think about why I hated having glasses when I was in high school or whatever, it was like... I would get in a fight, boom, your glasses break. Or I would, I was riding bikes all the time, so you fall off your bike, boom, your glasses break. But My glasses those two break. things are kind of out of the equation for me as an adult, so I feel like I could totally wear glasses now and it'd be fine. Yeah, uh... My glasses only break like if I'm fighting a hoe or some shit or uh, fighting a like hoe. That. Yeah. When you just get into it with your girl. Uh, no, I just be slapping my hoes. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I guess you might have to do that. Wait, you yeah, just I'll reel into domestic violence or what? No, I'll be getting getting into it with them, but sometimes, like, I just wig out. Like, I'll be talking to hoes, so I just think about their past and smack the fuck out of them. Their past? Yeah. What kind of stuff? Like, the shit they like, the <laughs> niggas they talk to, stuff. the dicks they did, like, like that. So if she sucked a few dicks before you, that I'm might just create, <laughs> create some rage inside of you at a certain point? I'm slapping the shit I out I feel like you. you gotta get over that at a certain point. She can't change her past. You should never did. You should never start talking to me then if you know you did that. So you only wanna fuck with virgins? No, I fuck with a hoe, but not a major hoe. Like, if you doing too much shit in the past, like... You gotta slow down. Like, don't even. I go. And then at this point I'm at now, like, I can't even fuck certain hoes now because it's like. Yeah, okay, so I have bad news for you. Now that you're a rapper and you're in position, you're gonna be getting way more girls interested in yeah. you. Guess what? They all sucked all kinds of random dicks. <laughs> okay, but look, though, you're not listening. Bro. Different so cities, okay, look. everything. Now, look. Hey, I'm so so look. Tall, you gotta, if you, if you gotta fuck with these groupies, I'm you're gonna have to accept, yeah, oh, she sucks sauce, walk his dick. It is what it is. Look, I get what you're saying, though. These not hoes I'm looking to wife, though. Right. I'm only slapping the hoes I was looking to wife. So if I'm sitting in the bed with you and then I look at you like, 
Bitch, you suck five dicks. I'm finna <laughs> smack the fuck out you. Five? Because why are you right here laid up with me, Stath? You suck five dicks. So why are you trying to fuck with these porn stars if you can't handle a I girl? Told, look, these I told, chicks are fucking sucking five dicks at a time. I just told you I just want to fuck them. These are okay. I just want to fuck. I'm telling you, I'm slapping my bitch. But how violent does it get with your bitch? Uh, my, uh, I done got grease pool on my foot, hot grease on some tweaking shit. Oh, shit. You're I talking about stabbed, things they're doing. All right. Yeah, I got stabbed with a fork. I got all type of shit happened to me before. Do you think that you just need to be in this kind of chaotic relationship? Nah, it make the relationship better. Just fighting? Yeah. <laughs> After you beat a bitch up, it's like, y'all get a different love for each other. You ain't ever slapped your bitch and she nah. was like, oh my God, you really put your hands on me? I've been controlling myself all these years. I ain't gonna lie, Brody. I don't want to say nothing about it. I don't speak on nothing in the relationship, but I would have been beating the fuck out of her like <laughs> the dog shit out of her life. Yeah, we got an understanding. No, bro. We, I think it. you and I are probably built a little different. Yeah, I, I don't got this lie. like that's crazy good, anger like thing. That's, yeah, that's uh, a that's a rubber mold of her vagina. <coughs> you you say, smack the shit out of her? <laughs> <laughs> no, like the shit she. Be I was very like, proud of her. Damn. So what's your take on that? Like when she told you like this, the shit so I want to do. So you basically saying everybody walking around with your bitch pussy? Well, I wouldn't say everybody, I'm but it is available you, yeah. in stores. Like the people who bought it though. Yeah, yeah. You can check it. It's in a box. It's in there, yeah. Let me see it. Oh, God damn it. All right. I'm trying to see that motherfucker fat. <laughs> oh, man. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Why does everybody always hey. finger it? Oh, man. Let me see this, boy. <laughs> How much does it cost? <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. I think it's like 60 hey. bucks or something. Hey, man. Get the fuck out of here, boy. <laughs> Bang that motherfucker don't do it though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta clean this thing. Hey, that motherfucker. Yes. Boy, hey, I play too much. Hey, that's my girl, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you now look, alone. oh brother, hey, you hear me? <laughs> now look, whoever editing this video, whoever editing, like if I was you, if I was you, I swear to God, whoever was editing this video, I'd go home and smack the fuck out of her. Cause why is you letting these motherfuckers touch your pussy? Yeah. I'm very open minded about that stuff. I don't know. I think we're coming from different perspectives. Yeah, you probably. I know what you went in for. Oh, they got the Durkios in here. Yeah, we got the Durkios. Let me see them. So, would you rather have the the the, the what was it called? The Whoops, the Durkios. Put them on the side. The Wooskios. We got all kinds of. What the fuck, the Wooskios? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still working on those. I was gonna say them gonna be crazy. But the new the new Whoops have uh, <laughs> have little Reese on yeah, the outside. Reese. Yeah, Lil Reese cool. I just hollered at him the other day. It says, th that's not my cousin on the outside of the box. Who who not his cousin? Well, because J-Main's always saying that Lil Reese is his cousin. These like, these like Cheerios. Warning, those have been in there for... Nah, I ain't gonna eat these. Six years. Nah, he say six those years. Those have been sitting there for six years. <laughs> this cereal came out six years ago? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so how you ever ate that cereal? Nah. But that was just like a promo thing for like one of Dirk's yeah. albums. This you shit, uh... Cereal? Uh, this shit, uh, I don't know if I and, and eat one of these bitches though. I don't really like Cheerios. Oh, silly, so. when you just get those? So I the Durkios, like, the label uh, like sent me it, and then okay, that's the whole story of the Whoops though. Is that Jay Man came in, did an interview, was looking at the Durkios, and then said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna make my own cereal," and that's how the Whoops came to be. I don't know. These ones just look like more appealing than these ones because these bitches plain. Yeah, I mean those did come out like six years after the other ones, so the other ones are probably kind of stale. No, I ain't talking about, I'm just talking about the box. Like, I, if I was to see these in the stores, I'd pick this one up. Well, that one's way bigger. No, not even because of the size. It's just, like, this one more plain. And Cheerios, like, who the f*** eat Cheerios? Okay, let me play the devil's <laughs> advocate, though. Dirk, the greatest success story in the history of drill music. Mm -hmm. Jay Main. He ain't shit. Internet comedian. Push and peace. Something I'm assuming you're not really on board with. Uh, why you say that? <laughs> why you say that? Wait, so you, okay, let's talk about that. You would like to join the peace, pushing peace movement? Uh, I'm going to tell him I'm going to join the peace movement and we're going to kill her ass. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about, yeah. He <laughs> said that's what I was worried about. But I'm supporting it, though. I mean, Jay On May social media, I'll be saying like, yeah, I'm supporting the peace. And when they pop up dead, I'll be like, damn, that's sad. We're supposed to be promoting the peace. Do you ever have somebody die that you don't get along with and then you just actually hold your tongue and don't say anything about it? Yeah. Okay. That happens to me all the time. Somebody I don't like dies, and I gotta just Wait, not say so you anything. You got ops, like you got niggas you don't like. <laughs> There's a lot of people I hate, yeah. And you want them to die? <sighs> Some percentage of them, they could die, yeah. So I'm not gonna make it happen, but you know, if it say, did happen, sure. I'm gonna say, 
I don't really, I don't rap. I do a lot of other shit too. Like, like when money get involved with stuff like that. <laughs> you're telling me you're an assassin. No, I'm not telling you nothing. Oh, okay. But you're kind of like hitting at it. Yeah. Because, okay, you have a lot of songs and like different clip, uh, clips and interviews and stuff where you're basically like, hey, tell my ops, we're going to come kill your ass. Tell and I'm em. just like, you maybe shouldn't say that. You Why? can think that, but you shouldn't say that. Why? I feel like it could be used against you in a court of law. How? <laughs> Me and my mama go through this every day. How? Okay, so by you saying that, you're basically telling me that, no, of course, Adam, I wouldn't actually do any of this shit, so therefore I can rap about it. We are going to murder their ass. <laughs> uh, okay. Now tell me how. What they going to say? Just because I said I'm going to murder a motherfucker, I murdered them? Right. See, if I was a lawyer, everybody would be home. Everybody. Lawyers dumb as f Why? What, what, what is... Because they do, they dumb as f They... You can say the simplest shit. In court, I get straight to the point. Look, my my man's innocent. Y'all got him on the camera, but y'all can't even prove that's him. So what is we finna do? Speedy trial. You ain't we gone. Speedy trial. Speedy trial. Yeah, we go. They tweaking. Y'all don't got no forensic, no none of that. That shit be taking six, seven years, and niggas be scared to go to trial and shit. And it be niggas who ain't, but it be the niggas who really did the body and get caught for the body that beat their case and the mother. Who didn't do it, they be getting cracked for that shit. Right. Like, that shit happen like that all the time. Yeah, there are a lot of stories Like, King there. Von, he beat all his murder cases. The ones that he faced trial for, yeah. Yes. But they probably would have tried him for more if he had stayed alive. Yeah, I seen that shit. That shit was crazy. Yeah. That shit was, like, good and bad. Like, but do you look back, like, have you watched the three-hour King Von documentary? Uh, no, nah, I ain't really, I don't really be, I ain't had time to, I don't be watching TV and shit like that. Is that... A forgotten era in which people were killing each other in Chicago that brazenly out in public and shit. Uh, it was more easier for them. Like back in the day, like 2012, 2013, 2014, really till I say 2016, 2017, it was easy as hell to kill people because now it's a million cameras everywhere. Back mm -hmm. in the day, it wasn't really a lot of cameras. Now it was cameras, cameras everywhere. You can kill them off on the next street over. They're going to have that shit on camera. Right, because when you look at stuff like how you know Rondo or D Rose or whoever was moving around, it it felt like they thought that the cops genuinely did not care about them killing other gang members. Uh, if you think about the way they got caught, they really didn't. They got caught like for goofy shit, like leaving a identification cards and shit like that, and they goofy shit like that's right. just basic shit you shouldn't do. Like, so it'd be like. They really did get away easy. Like, the getaway would have been easy for a lot of shit. It's a lot of motherfuckers in Iraq who got killed, and, like, people really didn't get caught for the shit. Right. No, it's insane. And even, like, the social media shit. Yeah. Like, people act like Vaughn was such an idiot for tweeting all this shit, but, like, that was a time period in which everybody was tweeting crazy shit, and exactly. nobody was being held accountable for it. So he was just being accurate to, like, what he thought that the risks were. Back in the day, uh, I don't know, but even now, the internet now though, the internet now they own that, like they own that, like I think they going they could they do some shit to you off the net, like they say they've been zooming in on the guns that you post, like they can see exactly what gun it is that you post or some shit. I seen a video or something like that, right? So I, that's what I stopped posting guns on my page. I interviewed this dude, uh, NFL cartel Bo from uh, Texas, and basically like they shot a music video and it had hella guns in the video, and then it turns out they were in a school zone. But they didn't know that because there was a fucking hurricane and that wiped out the school. But still, technically, it's a school zone. Even though there's no school, he gets five years for having all those guns in the video. He, he did like four and a half years. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, when I just got locked up this last time, I I just got locked up like three weeks ago. That was like three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had a picture of my uh a picture of me with some guns on my cell. Like after the tech detectives came to talk to me and shit. I told them I didn't want to talk. They put me back in my room. Uh, when I got put back in that bitch, I woke up. It was a picture on, uh, on me um, with the guns and shit. I was like, that. that's the first time that ever happened. They left that for you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The nigga kept asking me who I was. <laughs> they kept asking me who I was. He kept saying, like, who, who, like, because the, the goofy ass. Oh, Mexican. so they couldn't figure out your yeah. rap name? Yeah, the goofy ass. Me Look, I do not like Mexicans in jail for they'll tell on them off. Really? Now, the detective walking me back to the thing. Now I'm trolling the detective, talking to him and shit. 
I'm like, yeah, man, you ain't gonna know who I am, man. I'm a rapper, but you ain't gonna know who I am. I ain't telling you my name. Now, the Mexicans, so I told you every time I go to jail, a motherfucker know who I am, gang. Mm. Now, I'm at this cell, the Mexican at that cell. Now, the Nick, the police officer, like, you know him? He, yeah, he, what's his rap name? Guess what the Mexican say? He, he Vaughn, you out. Yeah, yeah, he told him. I looked at it, and I say, boy, I should smack the fuck out you. Wow. That's crazy because we were just having a conversation on here where they were saying that Mexicans in LA jails can rat on black dudes, but that they but can't they rat can on, on each other. Yeah, that's like that. Which there was a lot of that's disagreement like, about that. I'm not like, saying that's true, but like that's that, what somebody like was that saying. That that, it's like that, 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 like that in the feds. It's like that in the feds. You a rat regardless. Yeah. We yeah we don't to- tolerate no rats like that shit. They like, flaws you. So you never had to deal with that in your uh, your life in the streets and everything. Oh, Somebody yeah, turning I, on you. I ain't never got told on. I thank God for that. I never got told on. But it's a lot of people in my hood that got told on and shit. Mm. Like a lot. Really. Like a lot of people. Damn. So that that make you want to keep a smaller circle. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and all my homies that I that you know that I move around with, mm. we real solid. So it's like and we grow with each other and we be talking about other niggas. So. If my homie turn around and rat on me, that's gonna fuck me up because we didn't sit around and talked about this shit like other niggas telling and how we don't move like that. I mean, think about how crazy the trenches news thing is. He was living, he was crazy. roommates with FBG Duck. He was selling weed, he was doing all this type of different shit the whole time he's an informant. That's the type of shit niggas do though. But Duck I had a fucking rat as a roommate and had no idea, and all these other people were fucking with him too. The whole time they had no idea that he had a direct line. Think about how much other shit that we don't know about he probably yeah, he told know. the cops about. So this is what I often say. So <laughs> did he did he did he, he I mean, it's did, true. Like did, he probably <laughs> told them about dozens of murders yeah, that everybody knew about. Did, did he did he, right. did he tell cause Duck got killed and he fucked with him or he just told just to tell? I mean, he tries to act like he did it because he's so sick of the violence and this shit needs to stop. We can't keep killing our people, whatever. And then they also saying he got paid twenty five grand for it. So twenty five bucks to tell, twenty five k to tell. That shit ain't. And nobody worth was supposed it. to know about it. That's not it. That ain't worth it. <laughs> but if nobody ever finds out, that's a nice day at work. No, it's not. That's not. Well, for the average that Chicago win, even my I would pride. say. If I told, look, boom, you ride for 25000 boom. You got a kid. You got a, a wife you and shit. You can't even live with yourself. You can't even. You, know you just got these Now, what about when you spend this 25000 What you going to do? Tell again for another 25000 I'm assuming that's so, what he was so doing, yeah. Chase the tell I, I think, yeah, basically, that's what he was doing. Yeah, I don't want to live that life. Guess, guess how the nigga do his trenches. He do his interviews like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, his trenches news. I talking about the light skin. Yeah. Nah, he well, dark, no, dark skin, yeah. He do wear the mask all the time, though. Yep. Somebody gonna catch his ass and overkill his ass. Yeah. Yeah, he probably should be careful out there, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he'd be in Iraq. He should probably be limited. I was just gonna say, let me stop talking about him, though, for he get to end looking in on me and all that. I ain't got time for that. Wait, though, your shit straight through the system. That's that's you guys (laughs) at 6'9", though. He's the poster child for snitching the same way that New York has 6'9". No, he. I think. I think I've seen that shit. He really told like this happened like this. Yeah. Six nine got. He didn't get forced to tell, but That's he was six, like six nine told just like yeah six thing. yeah. So it's like six nine was like in a weird ass predicament, but he still wasn't supposed to rap though. But the type of nigga he is though, you should have knew like you should he gonna rap. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like any motherfucker with I mean, rainbow colors in their head. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it, it would be like if there was some Hispanic kid that lived in your area and he was just a weirdo with crazy hair and face tattoos, and y'all were like I'm seeing no- him rapping, and you were like, you know what? Not only are we going to sign you, but you're going to come with us when we slide on people. We're going to be doing all these crazy shootings and shit. And you're you're welcome in. Come come in. Observe everything. And like, and then even he was like, he was putting money out there to, to me. get shit done. To Chief Keith. Hold on. I never heard even. nothing like that. That was the first time I heard something like that. That's crazy. But look, uh, yeah, I, that's I ain't never heard that too. Yeah, this is oh, wait. Say. You don't know about that? In oh. Times Square. 6 9 sent one of his homies to go shoot at Chief Keith. And when oh, I, I thought you said he was giving money to Chief Keith. No, no. And then when I said nah, something about it to Chief Keith, Chief down. Keith laughed and was just like, they were shooting at the stars. <laughs> Saying so that. they ran up and the, shot him. The, the, the dude who shot at him basically shot at him like to get money like for shooting at him, but did not put forth any kind of actual effort to hit him. Yeah, he was shooting in this guy. That's a dummy hit. I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. That's a dummy hit. That's, what I was That's a fake hit. <laughs> Look, uh, if it's a Hispanic in my hood, and this just how goofy, I ain't going to say New York niggas because they going to get on my eyes. Like I said something about Houston the other day. They got on my eyes. Like all the motherfuckers from Houston, mm. they been getting on my eyes. 
But what I've been say, like some New York niggas, like the niggas who was hanging with him, they ass goofies. Cause it ain't no way in hell. This my hood. I've been over here my whole life. And you talking about you've been over here your whole life and I don't know you. And now I'm finna tell you come hang with that don't even make no sense. Yeah, it's crazy. F on, shorty. Well, the crazy thing about it is <laughs> this. Fuck it, on, it's, 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 the crazy part is just that the nine tray shit. bloods, like from everything I've heard, really were like a real, real gang and were like really respected. And so the fact that they still fucked up in such a way by embracing him is the craziest part about it. If it was some fucking lame ass gang that nobody ever heard of, then nobody Could've would be that surprised. Sense. Yeah. Like why is y'all if y'all this big time gang, why is y'all even accept and recruit new niggas? It's probably the money. Your niggas be doing crazy exactly. shit. Exactly. That's for the money. clout, bro. Like it's crazy yeah. shit for niggas be doing crazy shit for money though. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, they did all type of shit to blood. Smack this bitch up, kidnap this bitch, all type of shit, right? Yeah, allegedly. Well I think that they made up the thing about his I manager fucking his girl. You know what he was supposed to do? He was supposed to turn to a mass murderer. He's supposed to start killing all the ass. His career would have went up. I would have started <laughs> off back doing the niggas. Shocky, I would have got him out the way. Look, take these, wing. Mm. <laughs> he would have been gone. No, that for sure would have been good for him on a street level. I know. That probably what... would have precluded him from doing like the current Latin music arc that he's on. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He's been tweaking. I see he got like 16 Lamborghinis in his watches, different colors, all types. I of never shit. know what to think, though, because I've seen them repossessing those cars, and some of the cars have bullet holes in it and shit. And I'm oh, like, damn, well, what the f happened? I'll take that back. Nobody really seems to know either. I've been asking. Nobody yeah, knows. What, he, what he on? I don't know. I mean, if your car's getting repossessed and it's got a bunch of bullet holes in that it, that mean they trying to get your ass like, out of the way. What the f? Yeah. <laughs> Where he be at? Florida. But I think he's in like the Dominican Republic or some Spanish speaking countries a lot more. So he just ran and went back home. Yeah, well he got beat up at the at the gym that one time. That was about the only and he, put that nigga, and he put that nigga on, in court and shit about for that shit, right? The guy did go to court, but I don't know. I don't think he like Hey, what's the blue face? Blue face still locked up? Yeah. I don't burn him. I fuck with blue face. No, he's a legend. I fuck Damn, with him. I would love to blue face. unite you guys. Oh, yeah. sure. You know how he he's come with the holes? That's he just like me. I fuck with him. Wait, you mean just how he treat his hoes? He treat them just like how I treat my fighting and <laughs> being on nah, fighting you could be on a reality show with your girl. Hell no, nah, I'm gonna get they gonna see me doing. I'm gonna be beating that hoe up. I'm gonna be doing all type of shit. <laughs> Yo, Especially crazy. if my hoe is doing the shit that Christine and all them be doing. I'll Christian, be beating Christine. Yeah, Christine. <laughs> He knocked her tooth out or her tooth was just out. Uh, no, she got that like in a boxing match with one of the other girls. when Because remember he first had the blue girl's house. He had like 10, 15 girls come stay at his crib. Like, I they really, were having him do boxing matches and shit. And Christine got her teeth out. Sean out. was like the baddest one out of the house. This is often say, and another hoe knocked his bitch teeth out? He, but it wasn't his bitch yet. It was just one of the random contestants on the show. Oh, bro, right now I'll go beat that bitch ass. Because hmm. why you knock my bitch teeth <laughs> Retroactively, out? Retroactively, yeah. Are you, do you, are you attracted to the missing tooth or is that no, kind of like gross? I like her better when she smile mm. with her shit in. It definitely makes you look about a thousand times more gutter as soon as you get a tooth knocked out. That's, but not on no bitch though. Yeah. Probably if you get your tooth knocked out, you would get a little bit more respect, but not her though. What's the grimiest shit you ever did for some pussy? Uh, <laughs> probably sneak this one of my homies. Really? Yeah. What kind of sneak this are we talking? Like, not no over sneak this, and I'm like, probably like, man, that ain't my homie for real. Like, something like that. And like, do you tell him got, after? Then it got nothing. Yeah. We hey, I, I told her I didn't know you. Show him the messages, all type of shit. Look, this is how she came. Okay. But what about one of your homie's actual ex girlfriends? Uh, no, I ain't did none of that. Like, they were, they were real close. He's, he's with a girl for three years. They yeah. break up a year later. I knock it down. No, I ain't did nothing like that. No? I ain't did nothing like that. Too many, I didn't fuck some motherfuckers. I, know, I didn't fuck some motherfuckers. I know baby mama. Okay. But I know deep in the hood type shit. Probably just like motherfuckers I know. Okay. But it's a, it's a big difference between like a guy you know and like your real homie. Yeah, my real homies, I ain't coming like that. Because I be, because I ain't gonna lie. Motherfuckers in the hood be getting to it over holes a lot. I don't oh, yeah. know why they be losing their shit. Because that's like they the only thing to do. Shit. <laughs> he said that's the only thing to do. The only thing to do in the hood is to fuck the girls. There's nothing else to do. Yeah, like, what else are you going to do? No, it's a, we be fing hoes from all over the place. Uh -huh. And then we probably see this hoe on social media the whole time. This his hoe. Now I'm fing his hoe. We looking at each other like, you fing my hoe. Uh -huh. But we ain't going to fight about this shit. We going to laugh. But other niggas, they be want to get their one in about this shit. Like, 
I got Coochie a, good, but it ain't that good. I got a friend who was dating this girl, and then she basically has gone to become like a big Instagram model. Like she's dancing in hella rappers' videos and shit like name? that. What's her name? I don't even know, honestly. I'll send you a link later. But it's it's just crazy because it's like he was really fucking with her, and now she in all these different videos, and we don't know who she's fucking. We don't know like what what she's doing, but as far as the fans are concerned and shit, <laughs> she might as well be. At every single one of them, because yeah. <laughs> everybody looking at like, damn, I can't believe you loved her, and look how grimy she is. Even though she, she just shaking ass, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie, people be doing that to me. Like I took the picture of sexy red, mm. and now she be doing shit. Like she'll shoot a video or some shit or do some shit, and not everybody like. Damn, Vaughn was just with her. That's right, not exactly. My, that's not my bitch. Like you're supposed to be super mad. Yeah, yeah this is what the fuck. Did you get in them guts, though? No, but that's my oh. good sister. Oh, okay. Because there was an interview where you said that you wanted to fuck her, right? Yeah. And then I you would, linked up with her like a couple days later, or what? Yeah. That wasn't the vibe? I heard you were rubbing her feet. Yeah, I just because just you rubbed her feet, I don't mean you fucked her, though. You were rubbing her feet just on some cool shit, some homie shit. Some you ain't gonna shit. rub his feet, right? No, I rubbed her feet because she had just look. She had <laughs> just sorry, sorry man. She sorry. had look. She had she had she had just uh she was getting ready for her show and shit, and she asked me to rub her feet. Okay. I was supposed to be an over gangster and say, "Nah, bitch, I ain't rub your feet." I, mean, I feel like Lil Reese would say, "Bitch, rub your own feet." That's Lil Reese. I'm just saying, like, I mean, a lot, a lot of drill rappers would not take the opportunity. I'll rub her feet. I, I'll, I'll say, suck I'm, a toe. I don't I'm, give a fuck. I ain't doing all that, but oh, I'm sure. getting in while I'm fitting in that. I'm rubbing the motherfucker. Look, uh -huh. take these. How this feel? How did you end up linking with her though? On some tweaking shit on Instagram. You just hit her up randomly. No, she, she like, hit me up. Oh, okay. Cause she a real street chick. She yeah, loves all this music and everything. Yeah, she be listening to my shit. So I'm not even surprised to hear that at all. Yeah. But you guys went in and recorded. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. You think it'll come out? Uh, I think so. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. That's crazy. Cause yeah. she got her little uh, Chicago history. We seen the video clips of her back in the day around Duck and all them. Uh, yeah. I as soon that. as she gets on, boom, she taps in with Sosa. I mean, so that, she, that puts you in royalty. I mean, position. she she a uh, she a girl, so that I mean that shouldn't have nothing to do with her though. Right. She, yeah, clearly she don't give a fuck. I don't know. I mean. She she did a no no no. This is the quote I saw from her is that she said that her baby daddy she was in the fucking hospital about to give birth going through contractions and he went through her phone and slapped the fuck out of because he saw the text with Chief Keep. Now we don't know what she was saying to him, but he, I mean, it's got to be a lot for you to hit your girl while she's giving birth. That's yeah. some extra ass shit. I'm sorry. Nah, that's the type of shit I do though. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think that you're gonna like take the opportunity to separate separate yourself from that narrative, you're just like, nah, fuck it, it's cool. Because why is you playing? Like me, I be even before I was a big time rapper, I always felt like I was that. Like even before that, so I be looking at a bitch like a bitch would do some goofy, and I'd be like, why is you playing with me, gang? Like why is you playing with me? Like you don't like, you know who I am? Why is you playing with me, gang? Yeah. Mm. And like, and once they say some dumb shit, I'm smacking the fuck out of them off the rip. Would you say that beating your girl is your love language? Uh, like no. That's just how you it communicate. Really that's how you get look, close. Beating is like, that's how it is. Yeah, and beating is like, ying, 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 putting them on her. I'm just, look, take this one good one, and I'm, and if you tweak again, I might come back with this one. Ooh. And that is gonna hurt, because now I'm slopping you from side to side. Knock you off your feet. You ever box her ears? Nah, that's no. too much. I look, oh bro, I didn't look. I didn't hit her over the three piece though. Really? In the backyard, I look. Wing, boom, smack her from the right. Her shit go like this. I smack her like this. She put her head down. I smack her like this. Smack her shit back up on phone them. Uh huh. I was out there tweaking. And my OG was in the crib too. She was upstairs. But okay, for, in order for you to be in this kind of relationship, do you does she need to be hitting you back? Like she needs to be like willingly yeah, she, participating in this? Yeah. Sometimes she hit on me too, and I mm. but I don't fight back. I laugh. Like when your bitch start hitting on you, laugh at her. That's gonna make her ten times more mad. Like. Think I'm a joke. So it's then, gonna make things worse. She's yeah, gonna hit me more. And then once she start getting mad, you gotta show her like, "Bitch, I handle you. Slow down." Wow. And then after that, y'all gonna end up fucking all night. I've been with my girl for eight years. We never hit each other. That's why she do the shit she do. She smashed a honey bunny bottle one time. On you? No, just on the ground. It's not that bad, right? No, but that's why she do the shit she do, though. You ain't never see that. <laughs> Through the bottle on the floor. Yeah, I know. It's like not that bad, right? But that's like the most anger I've seen from her. She found me texting some girl, 
boom. Wait, that shit did not break. Okay, hold on. She found you texting a girl. Was it before she was doing all this shit? Or after? Many years before, yeah. That, oh, right. this okay, is she, a, she I know it's going to be hard for you to understand, but the, the, that other shit is like porn shit. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, you know, it's, we put that in a very, very different category. All right, so I got a question. Sure. So, so wait, right, hold on, brother. Please let me get this out. Because <laughs> we was finna just flood it in. 30 questions. <laughs> that was just so crazy. So when she come back, like, from doing a little sad or scene or whatever, and be mm. like, yeah, I had a good day at work today. How you feel about that? Well, it only happened once. So it's like, I don't really know what it would be like for it to be like a normal thing. But... Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty regular, to be honest. So she came back like, yeah, this just happened. Well, I already knew beforehand, yeah. Well, you, I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, what happened, though? Wait, she nah, went wait. She, so she, she, she filmed a porn, porn scene with another male so performer. Is girl a porn star? Yes. Yes. Well, she what, you, one, you think she's not a porn she, star and she's got a rubber mold of her vagina got, available in stores now? She got one body on the porn side. Well, we know. Oh, well, okay, okay. Right. No. Full disclosure, though. But she also, me and her and, and other dudes have shot a couple scenes as well. That's a pen, that's, I gotta put that out there as well. That's, gotta put that out there. That's a pansexual right there. A pansexual is somebody who's like choosing a new sexual look, orientation look, all the time. Look, wait, listen, I no, never, wait, okay, not even oh, choosing. Yeah. It's no, just like they, they just hey, wake up in a different mood. Hey, can I add something? Sure, wait. sure. So, so wait. Yo, girl, a porn star, right? Well, we became porn stars together. Yes. So you, so you a porn, porn star, star too? Yeah. Are you so free? you only do <laughs> porn videos of her or other girls too, though? Mostly only with her, but I do film with other girls as well. So yeah. listen, I you I only want to have a combo. So wait, so, 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 wait, so <laughs> if she so listen, <laughs> just being a freak, I don't know. No, nah, wait, hold on. So y'all just got a lot of swing clubs and shit. We haven't done that yet. We've talked. We've talked about it. What the fuck is that? It's like crazy ass <laughs> orgy <laughs> clubs, yo. You know, you know they got different bracelets combo, in that shit combo, sometimes. Like combo, there's there's combo. one co there's one color bracelet for like I'm down to fuck everybody. There's another <laughs> kind of bracelet that's like well I don't even know how it goes, but like they got different kinds of bracelets because you you think like if you go to a club and it's like an orgy. Everybody's just fucking everybody. Probably so look, not, right? Like that don't really make sense. So it's like they got different color bra bracelets. That's some stereotype shit. Because if the purple color for fucking everybody, and then you got the orange one on, that's just for hoes. Yeah. Both of y'all weird as fuck for being in there anyway, anyway. But you the type of nigga that's gonna say you weird. You got the purple one on trying to. Fuck yeah, everybody. yeah, it's like a hierarchy. Both of y'all. Look at him with purple <laughs> bracelet. What a fucking freak. Oh my god, you got that one on. But I, 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 I wish I could report back to you on what that shit is like, but I never yeah. actually been to one. Oh, right. I wouldn't even. I ain't. I don't I, think I ain't never got that horny. Like I didn't got some on some dry shit and like called the bunk hole like a little oversized bitch and hit her and shit, but not mm. no. I ain't going that deep but to where it's like you like so damn like when she <laughs> wanna so, hey, hey, I'm just thinking like oh if she wanna just go do another ride, this is what she gotta do. How much right? you be, I don't wanna I get no being how much you be getting no. hey, no. this your be back. Trust me, we wouldn't be doing it for normal amounts right. of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to be the pimp though, for I have to be a like she gotta give me she getting less ends on that shit. I right? mean, if I was like a pimp, yeah. Then I think a lot of people would understand it more. The yeah. fact that we are married is why a lot of people are so yeah, shocked by that's it. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, still, if we was married, I'd be slapping the fuck out of her, and I still. Well, that seems like that's just kind of your hey, thing at this point. You looking for any reason to smack? You get you giving me reason to do right here <laughs> doing fuck that. Look, for fuck, doing a dick. You doing a dick on camera for millions or hundreds and thousands of people and to he see. He just right. like that going crazy. You probably like. Probably, probably outdoing me. This There's so many more things I can tell you guys that I just. I don't think you're ready for it, so I'm going to just leave it at that. But yeah, yeah. We've been on some weird shit. He said we be on some weird shit. Well, not So that how way. you, like, that that's shit. Good. I don't need next conversation, man. Ask yeah, me yeah, some questions. Wow. Ask me some questions or some shit. Uh, okay, really you are just, like, random, like. Yeah, because we ain't really got, we ain't did none of this. Right, right. We okay, right here, I'll just ask you one of the many questions I have written down here. So is it true that you spit in an op's ass? Nah, that's some jail <laughs> shit. That's some jail <laughs> shit. But you were just rapping about <laughs> yeah, it, right? You, my, actually, my homie Jelly told me to say that, nigga. Jelly, my homie who actually just got out of jail told me to say that From shit. From a rapping perspective, you got to say shit like that yeah some but extra ass crazy I shit that, yeah. that shit is real though that like, shit oh yeah i know real, they because, do that shit real all right, so i don't i don't know if you know about the history of this 
at least on the internet, is that Rico Reckless was the first one to talk about that shit and the first one to talk about the Glock Dookie. Yeah. He comes in and talks about it. He talks about the same exact shit with Vlad and the Joe Rogan podcast, the biggest podcast in the world. They talked about it and they brought up the clip of Rico Reckless talking about that shit, which is pretty crazy that that many people got exposed to A, getting hit with the Glock Dookie and B, getting hit with the Savage Life. Anyway, that shit, like, I've heard from so many different people about yeah. just how popular that is and how much it's kind of taken over the jails. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't really a big fan of that until a motherfucker played with me. I ain't never do I pissed the motherfucker down before. Pissed in the milk carton and threw it through their chuck on their ass. But look, he was playing with me like I was a bitch, gang. Like, he was a real bitch, though. The nigga was a real bitch. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, the whole time I was in jail, everybody was fucking with me. Like, every time I went on deck, a motherfucker knew who I was so I ain't never really had to fight unless it was like on some on some like we gotta fight like now you playing with me too much but like I ain't I ran into like two of my ops when I was booked one on bank they self and the other one we was in court on bro now I'm flodging the other one I beat his ass his name he was off he, he was one of my ops I beat his ass now look and this nigga was actually the nigga I threw the piss on was actually my celly op so I fought two niggas that was in one cell I fought the celly, then I fought my op. Now, when I came on deck with my ops, that was a goofy. This I knew it was a goofy. Like, some niggas don't even be worth fighting for real. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I went through the county on no over tough shit. Like, how niggas be, niggas be going in jail, acting over tough, trying to fight everybody. I was really in that bitch chilling. Mm -hmm. Now, boom, I come on deck. The nigga, like, he like, you from, he asked me as I'm from my big, from his hood. You know how I told you where he from? Mm -hmm. I come on deck. When I come on deck, a nigga like, man, that's Vaughn, my homie. He like, man, that's Vaughn. I was just on another deck with him. He, man, Vaughn, you good over here. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Da, 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 I'm all right back. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody else, they go, where you from? Where you from? My man, I'm off North Avenue. Da, 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 da. Now, I just told you, this the first thing I just said when I came on deck. I'm off North Avenue. I walk past the nigga Chuck. He, man, you, you DCG? <laughs> I walk right past his dumb ass. I mean, oh, that's a goofy gang. Now, I walk right oh. past him. Now, I get on the chuck. When I get on the chuck, he asks me again. He, hey, gang, you DCG? Somebody off the chuck, uh, off the other end of the, uh, and the, who locked up. They like, what, that's your op? He say, I'm trying to see right now. I mean, his ass a goofy gang. Now, boom. That I, they, everybody walk up on my chuck. They tell me who the nigga is, is where he from and shit. They like, yeah, but they say he a goofy. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Man, I just got moved off another deck, gang, with another nigga off the A, gang. He like, the other nigga tell me, the other nigga on crutches on my dead home. He on crutches. He like, man, I've been fighting on every deck. I just came on. I ain't trying to fight. Uh, uh, uh. They end up moving me to 11. And I run into this fucking goofy. Now, boom. I run into this nigga, man. I come out. When I come out, I ain't gonna lie. I came out like a goofy. I come out with my shower shoes on and shit. Boom, I come out. He walk up on me. The nigga walk up on me. He shake my hand. I'm oh, man. What the fuck is you on? He yeah. I'm da da da. I'm da da da. He tell me where you from and shit. I'm yeah. We we in tour with them. He oh you da da da. da I'm yeah. That's where I'm from. He well da da da. This my phone right here. I be on this phone line. I'm now. Nah, they just put me on that phone line. He oh well. You gonna go after me? I'm now. Nah, that shit over with blood. Now I ain't gonna lie for like two three weeks. We stayed on deck with each other for like two three weeks. Hmm. Now, I end up getting into it with his celly. When I get into it with his celly, one of my homies from another, like another side of town come on deck. Now, I'm talking to my homie on deck, my other homie. I'm like, we are and calling each other bitches and shit, but this my homie. Like, I can call him a bitch. You can't call me no bitch. Like, he can call me a bitch, though. So my homie called me a bitch, and we laughing, trolling and shit. Now, the nigga, that, now the nigga that's in the cell with my op, he come on a chuck like, Vaughn, you a bitch. You over here with your op and da, 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 da. you ain't did shit. Da, 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 da. I don't even say nothing back to him. I just make it up in my mind, like, yeah, I'm finna throw piss on this nigga. I got me one. That's how I think. That's how I think about it on full now. Now, boom, I'll go to sleep. I'm in school. I'm in uh, BOC. I'm in school, nigga. I wake up in the morning. They let the motherfuckers in school out first, cause y'all gotta get ready in school and shit. Soon as I get up, I don't even piss when I wake up. I go mm. run the shower, hop in the shower, I piss while I'm in the shower, boom, put on my clothes and shit, get out the shower. Soon as I look, walk up to his truck, I, hey, what's all that you was talking about? I got the piss in my hand like this. I, what's all that shit you was, you know, yapping about last night? He, man, I'm going to holler at you when I get up in the morning. He ain't even get when he get up. He like, man, I'm going to holler at you when we come out because I got to go to school then come back. He, man, I'm going to get up with you when I come out. I'm all right, bet. So now I'm all right. He finna, he want to fight, boom. I have my homie who I was downstairs with talking to. I'm like, man, walk up on this chuck. Tell him come to the chuck. Da, 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 da. He make him come to the chuck. 
Now he stick his head out the door. As soon as he throw his head out the door, I throw it on him. On my dead homie, I throw mm. it on him. He get all on his DOC and shit. Now they be giving you bleach and shit, like to clean up and shit in your cell and shit if you a worker. Now he got bleach. I run down the stairs. He try to throw the whole bowl of bleach on me. It missed though. Now he missed. Now I'm telling him, yeah, fuck your dead homie. Da, 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 da. Now the nigga, <laughs> now my op, Dear God. now my op then woke up. Now my op woke up. He say I threw the piss on his covers. Now, as soon as he wake up, Wolf and I get the fuck your homie. I man, fuck. Da, 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 I'm, 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 I'm tweaking on him. I fuck him. Da, 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 nigga. Now, boom. Secret diss. Right now, now, he boom. He man. He said a secret. They're going to have to decode that. Now, boom. When he come out, nigga. Now, he come out. Now, my op like, man, we got a bump. We got a bump. Now, da, 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 he get the Wolf. Y'all already let you. Da, da, I'm all right. Y'all tweaking. I just whoop both of y'all ass when I come back. Now, I'm coming back from school. I ain't going to lie. My heart beating over fast. I'm finna have to fight two niggas. They probably finna try to jump me out type of shit. But the niggas I was on the deck with, they ain't even let them jump me. They let me fight them one on one. I'll beat both of their ass. For real? Holy I'm waiting shit. for my video. The niggas who get, you been seeing the jail footage and shit? Uh -huh. I'm waiting for my shit to come out. I'm going to overpost. I'm going to post my shit myself. Hell yeah. So it was the piss, was that more of like a warning shot, like a prelude to the Glock Dookie? Nah, Would you I have just, done that next? I ain't just trencherous enough to just shit in no cup. I ain't even coming. Yeah, that's like a different that. type of dude. Yeah, that's some trencherous shit. Like, I don't even, like, all the times I've been in jail, I don't even know how to make a Glock Dookie. Like, I wouldn't even try to put piss and shit in this little tube. I wouldn't need that some trifling shit. Because imagine just getting. The fucking the, the shit into the water yeah, bottle. You're gonna have to have like a I funnel. Seen and I seen a motherfucker get that. Sh I seen that shit happen to a motherfucker in school. That shit had the whole class thinking. And a in nigga, the school, in the jail. Yeah, yeah, in school. The, the nigga fuck? had the nigga had hell, like a little bit of hell. He came back. He had patches in this shit because they had the shaving cream in there. Uh. So he put it all on him. He come back to school. He got patches in this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> But so you have these kind of encounters, but then shit is just normal after that, and you guys have to be around each other and not fight uh, after oh, that. Oh no, this was so crazy. We fought under the stairs. So when we fought under the stairs, we nan one of us got balled up. I fought one of them in the shower, and I fought one of them under the stairs. So the uh -huh. COs never came in. They never seen the fight. They just ain't play with me after that. Like we we they walk past me and shit. Like it'd just be a lot of tension. But they. How much know. time did you end up actually doing? I it did nine months. Nine months. And okay. that shit happened like towards the end. I'm like I went. Home off that deck, that same deck. I went home off that deck. The same two. I had my two fights, and I went home off that deck. Right. And so, do you think anything happened to you in there that made you want to be a rapper when you got out? Like really everybody, knowing, it up? everybody knowing me. Mm. Everybody knowing me. I used to get on the phone and be like, "Bro, they know us. Like they knew my brother. Like they used to be like, you be rapping with Brick. You and Brick be rapping.' I was like, "Yeah." And that's how that shit went. So, okay, you, you talk about Brick all the time. That's one of your biggest songs. He's yeah. in the title. What? How did he pass, and what was no, the relationship? No, he alive. Oh. He well alive. The opposite My never bad. did none to oh, him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hell no. I just assume when you see someone in, in nah, the song titles over free, and over. Nah, it's called Free, free Brick. Oh, yeah. my bad. He was locked up. Like, right. Remember I just told you I got locked up for that shit last oh, time? Oh, okay, okay. He got locked up before me, and I ended up getting locked up right behind him. And he ended up having to sit down. So I just made the song. Like, that's how, when I was on House Arrest, I wrote that shit that Free Brick shit. Okay. That's how I came up with that shit. And then I drop Free Brick. Boom, I get my dumb ass locked up again. Once I get locked up, I come out New Year's, I drop on deck. When I drop on deck, that bitch went up. Okay. And then from then, it's just been fun. How many place. years do you think till he'll be out? He, no, he ain't never had to do no years. He had to do some, you know, they just did the new safety act law and shit. What's that? It's like no more bonds. Oh, so we couldn't bond him shit. out. So yeah. he had to sit in there. But he sat in there, they got him on a house arrest. He on house arrest. Let me call oh, him. Oh, okay, right I'm now. I'm gonna call him. Oh, shit. All right. I think he know you. Shut up the brick. I'm glad that you are uh, alive and with us right now. Yeah, I'm finna <laughs> tell him you thought he was dead, too. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta put the mic right here. Yeah, yeah, if you All want right. him to hear it. <clears throat> Yo, big brother. Hey, why this nigga Adam22 thought you was dead? Uh, God man, damn. What? <laughs> He thought you was dead. <laughs> My bad. I thought it was hey, long live man. brick and not free brick. He say long live brick. <laughs> and we don't die for we like well like look. I swear to God, look. I'm trying to tell him like we don't get hurt a lot. Like we didn't got hurt and shit, but like the ops they die every year. Like when we pass away, it'll be like a long ass span from 2012 to 2016. <laughs> to God, then. 20 da, da 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 like the last big L was like 2020 mm. and that shit don't even count for real cause it was like you know but these niggas die every year I'ma call you back bro let me finish explaining how these niggas nice die nice meeting you bro yeah 
Much uh, love. These niggas die like niggas like we ain't died in some years. Them niggas die every year or they get shot up. We don't get shot up, knock on wood. Like our parties don't get shot up. My homies don't get shot up. None of that shit. It's just not really a fair fight. You guys got them outmatched. Mm. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, like, the YouTube videos and shit, it's YouTube videos are like, it's this page that do like, this hood dead homies versus this hood dead homies. They got eyes up there. I counted it out. They was at like 30. Like, our videos, two minutes. That's how many dead homies we got. Our videos was two, we got two minutes worth longer dead homies. They videos was seven minutes. I swear to God. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> That's crazy. I swear to God. <laughs> I've heard about these like scoreboard videos. Yeah. I haven't really like seen any. Yeah, search eyes up. I'm gonna tell you. And you can go. You gonna tell me if I'm lying. It's and a little morbid. When for they my taste. look, yeah. they video was seven minutes into like three minutes. They was at like 25 dead homies. Mm -hmm. Yo, okay. So uh, I only know one rapper that you guys beef with. Who? Z Money. Yeah, Goofy. <laughs> I haven't don't seen him on the scene in, in a minute. Don't nobody beef with him. Man. Yeah, he's they not even. Don't even. Move, they man. ass and he gay. They ass. You wait, heard wait, about? Wait, look, wait, 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 wait. you ain't he gay. got his money. You ain't hit like he had money uh, before rap. Like, oh, I know what you're talking you, about. Yeah, well, you know that. Yeah, I didn't, what happened? No. No, I don't want to say it. What happened? Wow. It's, it's grimy. I don't want to tell him. You, I want to say. You tell the world what these niggas do for money. I've never heard for money. Oh, this is like a this is like a settlement or something. Yeah, yeah, what type, like what type of settlement? Though? I don't know. You, yeah, I don't know. He got a pansexual settlement. Oh god, <laughs> that's different as well. He got a booty settlement. He let the pastor play with his butt. <sighs> yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that shit is true, right? And this this is a gangster though. So you do consider him a gangster, even though you guys are into it. Hell nah. Yeah. I'm telling you, to their eyes, to the world, that's a gangster, though. Right. That's the gangster. You let a motherfucker play with your ass, and you got paid for it, and you out here flexing his money. I mean, he was a kid, right? You didn't let him. No, they was on high school basketball at the church. <laughs> you knew damn well don't let this man touch you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Knock on wood. Let that be, I was gonna come back and murder his ass. They were gonna have me on news for killing his ass at the church. He touched me at. No, uh -huh. that preacher was gonna be. Maybe he did. We don't know. Seeing God right there. No, I church. think that preacher's still alive. Oh, I don't yeah. know. But they, they got good. They got jail. good off yeah, that. He, got, he, has, he went to jail. Well, he got good off that. They got good like M's <laughs> off that shit. Yeah, they did. That's insane. So there's nobody else well known that is people that you beef with. Uh, no. We don't beef with nobody. We don't. Them niggas yeah, passed no. away. Okay. God but damn. he not well known. His ass, his career is finished. Really? His shit been done since Yeah, like I actually, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in years. I don't know exactly what's going on. You should on. call him one day and be like, you see your ops, they doing their shit. I know you hurt. You well, I, 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 I think he did hit me up like six months ago, yeah. mentioning something about an interview, and I feel like I didn't respond because yeah. I just hadn't really heard anything Tell in a while. you got to pay. Make his ass pay 1700 Pay. Oh, my God. 1700 And when God he pay you, send, it, send the money to me. Matter of fact, when he when you tell him when he could tell me when he coming up here. But what if he comes and does an interview and he airs a bunch of shit out about you? That man can't say shit about. It's a video we got of him. I gotta find it. They dragging his ass off the bus stop for he trying to run and get on a the bus. They is fucking him up for like beating the dog shit out of him. Like, like recently or like back in the this day. This is back in the day. Oh, but okay. they fucking him up. Like the the bus man can't pull off of nothing. They all on his ass. Like. I wish we could find that shit. I'll wow. post it. That's crazy. No, I hope you guys uh, are able to squash it. Doesn't really seem likely, but yeah, I'm pushing. Bro. I'm promoting <laughs> pushing peace. I'm promoting peace. <laughs> How you feel about J Man though? Like with the the pushing peace thing, he had to like link with Tay Savage to make that happen. So they like kind of two people that are from yeah, that opposing shit was, sides. That, that shit was crazy when I seen that shit. That was some weird. You like, could I, never imagine yourself doing that. I never do no shit like that. Really? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> You just anti peace in general, or no? Just not with no niggas. I'm in two. Hell no. Nah. Motherfuckers hate the ops so bad. Fun we don't even link up with well, them damn. and push peace in the afterlife. Oh, bro, no. I'm great on that. Like, <laughs> that that's some shit they got going on. Like, I ain't knocking them for doing that shit. Like, I actually like salute them for doing that shit to try to put a better image out there for people. But not this. Not me. Not the kid with the glasses. It's just too serious. Yeah, I'm murdering they ass. Like it's different for me because I lost family. So a lot of people lost friends and shit, but I lost family. Mm. And then so it's just like it's different. It's crazy because a lot of times I'll talk to like older people who are from similar environments, and they always want to like try to find a way to 
put an end to the the murder and everything. But then when Man, I talk to the younger add, dudes, look, a lot of times they as lying, talking about some incriminating <laughs> themselves on interviews. Look, for we is killing the ops, for I don't get no fuck. We is killing their ass, for <laughs> so tell them we is killing them, for that's what we doing to the ops, for when they die, look at us, yes. But when you say we, you're not saying that you personally want to be involved in anything like this, right? I we team whatever you want to call it, we is killing their ass. <laughs> Oh, Niggas be on him talking about these interviews. Going, if an interview going to get me locked up, let me know now. Because I'm, I'm going to trial as soon as they say, yeah, we got this evidence from this interview. If y'all don't get y'all dumbass on... Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like you could say you could say it, you could say whatever this until is, you are actually being charged with something, this and then freedom, it could come back to bite you. This in the is ass. freedom of speech, bro. Right. This is freedom of speech. <laughs> If I sit right here and say, yeah, I killed 10 motherfuckers yesterday, and then it so happened, a news article, 10 motherfuckers got shot yesterday, what they going to say, I did it just because I said the shit? No. Nah. All right, then, so I just killed two motherfuckers yesterday, and two motherfuckers just died. So come lock me up. Hey, I mean, that mentality of, like, I'm going to talk about it because they can't connect it or whatever, that makes sense up until the moment that it doesn't make sense, but I assume <laughs> that you know exactly what you're doing and that you're going to be all right. I'm telling you, gang. <laughs> you we be all right? putting that ass, we putting they ass down, <laughs> down. Um, okay, a uh, couple more questions I wanted to ask about was um, okay. So do you you stole Lil Zay Osama's car? No. You specifically or somebody that you know did it? Somebody I somebody I be with stole his shit. Somebody I be with stole his shit. Okay. Uh, Lil Zay. Lil Zay. My homie and them did that. That's shit. another op of yours, or that's someone. You, no, it's it just happened. Okay. We used Yo, to be. We used to be take nothing, but we used to be. <laughs> they right here fried. We used to be outside. I used to be. We used to be stealing cars and shit. And there's another motherfucker who steal cars and shit. Okay. And we used to be outside with them on some like on some stealing shit. And then everybody just started exclude like well, putting it putting us in the shit they was in like. Uh, if they yeah, still a car, they were still a car. But they they said they tried to say it, but everybody know they did that shit. We ain't odd name in on that. I don't know why uh somebody put that as a YouTube channel. I, I chat uh, I seen that shit. So no. were you ever a Kia boy? No, nah, we don't play in Kias. I never I don't even play in Kias. Okay. And the cars we be stealing, this some of the cars I don't even get in no more. Like RT Durango's, I don't get in them cars no more. Okay. Uh, but that's a pretty common hustle out there? Yeah. Now it is. It's kinda of taking over, huh? Yeah. Interesting. But uh, you see that shit about Lil Zay getting caught with the the switch in New York? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He be tweaking. Like It's like he wanted to throw his life away. He be tweaking. That's a lot. Yeah, he's supposed to be moving way different. Like he, The shit he be doing, it's a certain way he could do it. He, I don't think he was thinking. And he left and it I in think, the Uber. I think he be letting his... Uh, I think he be letting his uh, his homies make him crash out. Really? I think they be having a big impact on a lot of shit he do. Because he don't really seem like the type of nigga that'll do the type of shit he be doing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I know him for a long time. I was pretty surprised to see him crash out Yeah, like that's that. what I'm saying. Like, I fucked with it. I used to be listening to a shit. I fucked with his music. Because driving around with a fucking switch on you in general is just a very risky proposition these nah, days, Not right? in Iraq, but in New York, you tweaking. It's like, not a big deal in Chicago? No. Doesn't it have like 10 years federal charge? No, bro. No. Stop listening to that's that cap. shit. That's cap. No. You can get caught with a switch. Your ass would be at home. If it's your first case, your ass would be at home two, three days. Two or three days. Okay. Your second pipe case, you probably going to sit down. Back then, you used to could be bonding out for everything. But, like, once you get, like, three cases, though, it's over with for you, though. It's okay. They on your ass. How much did the switches change Chicago in general? That shit changed. A lot of innocent people started getting killed. I can say that. Mm. But a lot of people started getting killed. Damn. Yeah. I don't really like switches. They overrated. it. Really? Because you kind of got to, like, just spray and just hope you hit something, right? Not really that. It's just, like, that shit just, that shit for niggas. It wasn't ever no nigga who was out here talking about some, I want to switch. Until niggas start until getting switches. About they it's, it, until they made it popular. The niggas didn't even know what a switch was until they started. So now everybody just want to switch. Right. I always get a laugh out of people when I just repeat the Skrilla lyric when I say I, I put a, a crouton on the glizzy. Who the fuck said that? Skrilla? Skrilla, yeah, he calls it a crouton. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know why he called it that. It's just like a little square thing. You yeah, never ate a salad? The box. Yeah, uh, yeah, the box, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of that's kind of hard. For sure. Um, so how how did how did Toss Gang become a thing? Like, is that just the rap crew or is that some shit that y'all were saying like in the streets long before that? Everything. Okay. That's just the whole everything. Everything. That's us. That's what we that's how we come in. 
Okay. Toss gang. You toss on shit. Where'd the name come from? Just tossing shit up? Yeah, and shooting in Chicago, uh, they'd be like, say if somebody come shooting, they'd be like, they just came through this bitch tossing. Blah, 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 blah. Like, sh- tossing means shooting. Right. So it's like, toss gang, we toss gang. Definitely. Where'd you come up with the uh, free my hood, fuck your hood uh, My phrase? homie came up with that shit on the jail call. His name three for my brother. Okay. And what does that mean? Free your hood, fuck their hood? Shit, yeah, free my hood, fuck your hood, basically. Like, I could care less about the motherfuckers locked up from your hood. Okay. Free my homies. Definitely. My, uh, my whole, down to my whole hood locked up. Right. I seen a uh, Reddit post that was accusing you of sharing clothes with Tiski. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, that was crazy. You just happen to have like the same, the same shirt outfit, and the same yeah, pants, the same pants and shit. That, I mean, that everybody mean, going to the same department store, yeah, right? I'm finna play. I mean, everybody wore the same clothes, gang. Like you probably seen thirty niggas with this shirt on. Like, I haven't with that one, but you ain't seen this shit. No, nah, what's it say on the bottom? Uh, just vanity. Oh, okay. Saint vanity. Saint vanity. Like every time we go, like if we about like in Saks and shit. Like I didn't been to Saks in every state I went to: New York, L.A. Miami, they all got the same shit in the stores. Like, right. So it's like, we all wear the same shit. And That's they, happened to me a lot of times where I'll buy some fucking Gucci jacket or some shit, and then I just see like three rappers wearing it before I get a chance to wear it. And I'm like, why the fuck did I even buy exactly. this? Exactly. That's just a shit. But I been had that shirt. I wore that shirt two times. Okay. I uh, bought it. My little hoe ripped it up. Fighting my hoe, she ripped my shit up. And then when I got my money, I went to buy another one because I liked it. Nice, nice. Um... What was what's your relationship with G Herbo? Uh, he cool as hell. I had just met him for the first time yesterday. He cool as hell. Right? How'd you guys actually? Cause he did a verse for you like way before you met, or did you guys don't have a song yet? Oh, oh shit, my bad. Hell no. You were uh, just hanging out yesterday? Yeah, we were just on some tweaking shit. Okay. He was getting me drunk and shit. I got drunk yesterday. Really? You don't yeah. normally drink? Hell no. Really? I be getting drunk with my hoes. My hoes be making me take like two, three shots. You trying to do music with uh, Herbo? Oh uh, yeah, I do music with him. I feel like he's got a crazy track record for being some certain artist like first feature. He taps yeah. in with a lot of people real early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's that's because we want the city a lot. Mm, definitely. Um, okay, you you have a lot of like. What, what would you say is your most notable bar? Your bar that like stands out the most. Mm, I don't even know because I'd be saying some crazy shit. Probably a motherfucker dying, eat some chips, or uh, killing the motherfucker on camera, or mm-hmm. uh, or the gunner bar that we would have been killed gunner, or I don't care if he was twenty <laughs> died from the last time. <laughs> you said you would have killed gunner. Yeah, in the situation we was smoking his ass out. Really? If he if we out knocking wood, one two three four, we go down for a rico. You get out. Somebody out in the hood gonna kill your ass if we feel like you told him. Mm. I feel like he told, but they say he took a plea deal though. If he took a plea deal, if he took a plea deal, I wouldn't consider it telling. But if he told, like he told, part of the plea was him just saying YSL is in fact a uh, criminal yeah, organization. Uh, he told. That's, that's telling. telling. He told. Yeah, right. he told. to the police. He told. Bro. Yeah. It's just kind of crazy to see people being like more open minded about that shit than a lot of the other telling that has taken place in recent memory. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, cause I took a plea deal for my case, but I ain't had to say shit. One thing I had to say was, look, hey, I'm guilty. He say, he said, yeah, we gang banging. That's what he said. Uh, like, this is what we do. This he just said it's a criminal organization. He was trying to say it was a street a, gang. It's a, 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 a rap a record label. Right. Yeah, he acknowledged that it was a a, a gang. Yeah. Gunner, you're wrong, man. If you see this, yeah, you're wrong. Bro, you foul, man. man. Free thug, man. Free slime. Free Just in general, thug, if you're going to be a rapper, take the name of your gang and don't say it on records and shit and then take the name of your label and make sure it's not the same as the name of your gang because you're just making it way too easy on the cops. You got to agree that this is a gang. This is not a gang. It's a rap label. Right. Is a brotherhood a gang? Yeah, If they are committing criminal acts together, I guess. So if I go commit an act with my brother... It's That's a crime. Some gang, we gang bangers. For sure, if you're both in the same gang, then they could hit you with the gang enhancement, and they but could no, make it out to be a conspiracy. I heard Rico, you gotta have a robbery, a murder, and some other charges or some shit. Oh really? I don't know. Yeah, that's how that shit go. Interesting. I'm not sure. Um, okay. We're, oh yeah. So I want to ask, what's your uh, Mount Rushmore of drill music? Who's the four greatest? I Drill did rappers out of Chicago. Oh, you did it already. Look, hold on, but I want to see if I'm going to say it right again because that means I'll be switching up my shit. 
I'm smacking per- Polo on there first, boom. Mm. Then I'm smacking her, boom. Then I'm smacking Dirk. Then I'm smacking Sosa. Mm. That's no in order though. But Polo, I put Polo first though. Yeah, I mean, I I think that the Herb Dirk. Sosa thing is pretty much like not debatable. Yeah. They're the biggest artists that have came out of the Chicago Drill. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people say Kanye West. It's like if you want to talk about Chicago as a whole, then we got to talk about a lot of other shit because we got to talk about Juice World. Yeah, Juice World was Kanye. Crazy. We got to go all the way back. We got to talk about Common, which is like man, 20 years Common, before man. you were Common listening to rap. Did shit for the for the rack. Fuck, he made a, a, a church song. I honestly, I mean. He had some big records back in the day, but I'm I'm very. I know that song that go like. <laughs> my memory of his music is kind of limited. I know at this that song point. that go like glory, ah, uh, glory. You know that song. <laughs> they had to teach us that in school. Other 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 than that, I never heard a common song. My OG probably don't even listen to that shit. Honestly, I feel like I've only heard Common because he did records with Kanye back in the day, and that's more my generation. So, what do y'all consider Kanye West from, though? He from the rack. From the rack, man. Before it was the rack. He's a GD. He's a secret GD. He's like exposed that at a certain point. What side of the city? I don't he know. crazy. Look, Kanye West. Kanye West like me too when it comes to the hoes. Really? You make your girl uh, follow you around and not be. speak like his girl, be Bianca. Ah, bad. Crib. West be ah, bad. Crib right next to my bitch crib. <laughs> but he sold that crib before they even got anything going. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I'm doing some shit like that, bitch. You think you finna move on from me? I'm finna buy this big ass crib <laughs> right next to your shit. Right next to it. And have my shit looking way better than yours. Put seven cars in the driveway. I don't drive. All type of shit. Right. Just That's for you to see. I do too. Though. Just for you to <laughs> see. <laughs> Just to blow up. Just to blow up. Bitch, you ain't like, you ain't living how I'm living. We got to find you a Krishan. A very public, <sighs> I messy say, relationship. I, I want to get him Krishan. That's yeah. what I want to see for you. Or do you think that you want to like keep your relationship a, shit behind the scenes? I just got a crazy ass text message. What are they saying? They said you a bitch, brody. Who? <laughs> brick? No, Brick, I'll fuck him up. What the hell? I the bang it. That's I not bet, even a text. I bet you won't. Oh, bro, it is. No, it isn't. It's like a fucking Instagram like. This is a text, man. Look. <laughs> I bet you don't want to fight Brick. You know, mm, Brick just did them. How tall is he? Brick, just, he's, he's small as fuck. Brick like yeah, five I probably got that then. You know, small niggas be ready to do it. Yeah, but I'm a big motherfucker and I'm ready to do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna go do it. I come out in a relationship because that shit relationship. I'm gonna be tell the truth. That relationship shit in the rap game don't be shit but to go up. Like mm. you know, it don't be shit but like really publicity. That's honestly the way to look yeah, at it. It's I like bet. smarter to look at yeah, it that way. But if I was to wife a bitch right now. In a rap game, I'm going for some. I'm going for a hoe. I Asian like doll. Hoe. Badly built. I uh, can't do it. <laughs> How dare great. you? I'm great on that. How I'm, dare you? I'm passing on that. Her yeah. shit look like a tooth. Shit. She's already like, Queen Vaughn. She don't even got to change her name if she's with you. No, nah, it's no. just her body. She look good in the face and shit. Like she got a nice looking face, but her body ain't. Mm. But she catch me on on an off night with some off white. You I'm should be so knocking lucky. it down. That'd be the best <laughs> ride you ever been on, my friend. Why you say that? I don't know. She's a she's royalty. Why why you say that? She's, she's a legend. King Von, It'd be niggas like you, gang, that be making Gassing girls her. feel yeah, like they some bigger than they ain't. And I, I bought her it. OnlyFans. You did? Yeah. Now I heard she, she was on that fans? bitch playing basketball or some shit like that. On oh, OnlyFans? I wouldn't really recommend it to other people, you know? Yeah, I heard she was on that doing twerking. They tweaking. posted it. Twerking. And the and shit right. blurred, and then you pay 30 bucks, and it's the same exact thing. It's just not blurred. Me and Jay Main checked it out together. I ain't gonna lie, I would have found her. I would have treat. I would have texted her about that shit. <laughs> if I would have bought her OnlyFans and it wasn't what I was looking for, mm. I would have got on her ass. Right. No, yeah. I, I, me and her saw each other at Rolling Loud, but before that, we hadn't communicated for what's quite some, some other, time. What's some other hoes you think I look good with, though? Amari Blaze. Man, get your dumb ass. <laughs> what? Stop hey, playing with me. Why? <laughs> Why'd you, you play, play too much, boy? How do you even know her? She came on with King Yeller and she was talking about how she got thrown through that window. <laughs> on four Mellow Bucks put them bitches on her. She told on Mellow Bucks too. I, that, she yeah, proud of it. I, that's the she type but look, nine, that's the nine, type nine, of nine. girl she is though, so I wouldn't even get mad at her and like talk about her bad or nothing because 
I think she from the suburbs, if I'm not mistaken. So like, they I wouldn't. Her yeah, they could have expected shit like that. And then the way she was acting in the video, the video so funny. She tell them off. <laughs> they finna die. <laughs> 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 oh my dear, I ain't gonna lie. Melo put them. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even run up on Melo the way she be throwing them bitches. Gang, them bitches be coming. Like them bitches hurt. Yeah, I don't think Amari. Yes, folks. I don't think she realized how much she was like assisting Melo Bucks and looking good by saying that she was gonna tell on her. Like, yeah. yeah, you can go tell on her, but, like, yeah, now Buck. she got the Gucci main rep. Yeah, Melo Bucks up a thousand points for that. And she put them bitches on her, like, Beat her ass. like real live, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Did they yang, get back yang, up together yang, and fight yang. one, one though? Uh, no, I don't know nothing about that. No, I don't think Amari Blade is going to do that. But Amari Blade, though. Them bitches no more. Yeah, she was asking for it, though. Making diss songs and shit, she was asking for that shit. Bro, that's what I'm saying. You can't just be a drill rapper when it's convenient. Yeah, but that's, the, <laughs> but that's how people is, yeah, gang. Like, it's really people... Who drill rappers and really never seen nothing like this shit? Like right. not about it, none of that shit. So you can't get mad at her though. But yeah. Melo Bucks beat the fuck out of though. She got what she was looking for. More people should just be civilians. Yeah, I don't think she. I ain't been seeing her rapping or none of that though. You met so. Drea O yet? Drea O. No, nah, I think she followed me on the Instagram. She like an interview or something you like that. You could be in a relationship with her. I'll co-sign that. Wow. I'll walk you do? down the aisle. What she look like? I can't really start talking about her or give her a pen. She's great. She does, she's like more media side of things. Yeah, right. I yeah, think she, she does something like that. Yeah, doing she videos do, and shit. Uh, like, like blogs? I think so. Or like she does YouTube and everything too, interviewing people, all that kind of shit. No, I don't like her. She probably meet too many people. She probably meet somebody better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Give me one more. Because listen, I don't even I don't even know if it's true, but like she was rumored to have had something going on, FBG Cash. I don't see you being able to handle that. What you mean? Like you're talking about how you get mad at your your girl for with anybody. If she got a rumor of fucking with another drill rapper, oh yeah, nah, you're not gonna be sure. No disrespect that. to no motherfucker passed away or nothing like that but if my bitch nigga dead and she used to talk about him I don't get no fuck but if I catch you reminiscing or some shit get away from me with that shit yeah so yeah we ain't doing that no more bro. reminiscing I figured you can reminisce that, yeah. but don't do get it around me go somewhere else do that shit on your own time come around here for be happy with you and me for your ass to be with him right so okay <laughs> you're, you're dating a girl and she used to be with a big time rapper mm -hmm. and she still got a little poster of him on her wall like a little shrine some flowers and shit that's not cool that gotta come down you gonna kick uh, the candles the crib, when you walk in the room nah that's some disrespectful <laughs> shit cause nah I, they can they can not know cause in Iraq when motherfuckers die they get like poster boards of them like you know the, the cutout boards yeah, yeah, yeah. they get them now if you just got that sitting around in the crib put Brody up somewhere man put him yeah, in the closet wow, that man. yeah put him up don't be having him around right Shoot the cardboard cutout. No, I ain't. If one of my ops, if it was one of my ops, I'm gonna put a bullet hole right in the top of that motherfucker. Yeah. I should get a cut out of one of the ops. Yo. And set that motherfucker <laughs> on fire. I seen some Detroit rappers do that, but the guys were were dead and they had the, yeah, they had their was, ops cut yeah, out in their video. But I'm gonna shoot them. They was just beating them up. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that song got took down off YouTube. For real. It ain't nothing no more. I used Man. to be off that shit. That's crazy. I can't even remember who it was. It's called, uh, that's 2 for Money Gang, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cash Gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Cash Detroit. Gang. I interviewed uh, FB, FWC Big Key as well. Yeah, yeah what he be on? I think he got locked up. He might be out now. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. You know that's who, a funny motherfucker. You know who the big, the big homie is? The big homie? The big homie. I'm not sure. Well, he's from that, out there, too? Yeah, that's who they in tour with. I be into they beef and shit. That shit crazy. Oh, shit. Okay, so you, you fuck with the whole Detroit and Flint scene and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big homie. It's the big homie. T-H-E, big homie. Got it. He always said, I fuck with them. I be listening to their shit. Mm. Like, I listen to his songs and then listen to their songs, and I be like, yeah, I'm fucking with them more because they talking that shit. <laughs> Definitely. But do you you don't really like take sides. You just uh, you just observe that shit. No, nah, I don't really take sides. But like, if a nigga trying to lock in with me though, and I ain't never met the other niggas, it's like you kind of came too late, bro. Do you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like I ain't gonna like if I been kicking it with a motherfucker, I ain't just gonna meet these niggas and then turn my back on you because they turn more turned than you or something like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't no type of nigga like. But that. are you more likely to watch a video about the beef in some random? In city versus watching a video about some shit in Chicago. Hell yeah, because the, the, the city, the other city, I ain't gonna lie, motherfuckers be doing crazy shit in Chicago, 
But in other cities, niggas be tweaking. Niggas be killing yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, grandmas tweak, killing yeah, niggas. Yeah. Mamas tweak, and shit playing. like that. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Niggas tweak, be tweaking. The and then niggas be crashing out. Like, the shit they be doing be tweaking. Mm. Man, th I just watched a six-hour documentary that Trap Lord Ross did about 600. Like the gang 600? Yeah. Huh. It's fucking crazy, bro. Like, when you actually, like, see all of those murders side by side and, like, how the shit all played out, it's just like, what the fuck? is wrong with this city like that this shit, shit is crazy i ain't gonna lie it's some bigger beefs yeah yeah in the city than like old block and mm. shit like it's gangs that have been killing each other for a long ass time but then 600 and old block came together to form get back gang and everything really went to shit i ain't really too much in fun like i don't know too much about uh they beef like that i just yeah, know it's, like it's bad I shit just, stay out of it yeah it's, it's, i just it's for know real that, yeah street i dudes just like know me. that Damn. Why you playing so much? <laughs> I just know like uh like the regular basic shit everybody knows. So yeah, I don't really yeah. I wouldn't really comment on shit like that, but I know I could tell you some shit about us. We f our ops up. Like they ass die back to back two at a time and a cop full of guns. They never shot the guns back when they put got pulled up on like these niggas crazy. Oh shit. Like they wanted to die law off them. on phone them. So uh, you nah, never seen that video? Look, like, you ever seen a video of the niggas pulling up in the two cars? It went viral on Twitter. The niggas pulling up in the two cars. The mayor, the two mayors and kill father got it too about it. Uh they start shooting and then one of the niggas got killed on a block. I don't think so. And then they created a new law called uh, uh, what the fuck is it called? Brutal, com brutal, mutual, mutual combat. Mutual combat. Yeah, brother, them made that up. Mutual combat. So like, if you and someone else just start shooting at each other, you get charged with mutual combat, and they let you out from the, they let you out from the station. Wow, that's insane. And that never happened until a dumbass nigga decided to come slide and got his ass left so in the middle of the street. People came try to come and just start some shit. It's just crazy that that applies to shooting as well as. Just like fighting, like yeah. that you could just choose to have a gunfight and and be able to get away for it. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I just when I be in Iraq, I just be wishing a motherfucker try to shoot at us or play with us, cause it ain't happening so long. Like when we get this moment, we just finna show y'all why y'all should never came down here playing with us. Mm. But do you feel like at this point you need to start moving differently since you're attracting moving, so much more I energy? I do be moving different when I'm in Iraq. Like, I be moving real different. Like, I be doing shit people probably never think I'll be doing. Like, mm -hmm. I be staying at the house a lot when I'm in Iraq. Well, I'm moving. Well, when I'm driving and shit, like, in a, in a car with my f I don't get in a car with nobody unless we going, like, point A to point B. I don't be moving. Like, sometimes, I ain't even going to lie, I ain't really been in the hood like that neither, but. I'm finna go back because they've been, they be tweaking. Mm. <laughs> yeah, compare life in LA to life out there. Is it just way better out here or do you kind of miss the energy? Hell yeah, we be walking and shit. As soon as we got out here, we start walking all type of shit. That but, shit feel uh, crazy as hell. And look, and look, y'all probably finna think like, because they be saying dumb shit in the comments. They be like, damn, he can walk in LA but can't walk in Iraq. Uh, da, 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 da. We can't walk in Iraq. It's not because of the ops. I swear to God, it's not. It's because of the police. For you just can't walk in Iraq. Man, no man. Every motherfucker. If we no look, gang, if we start walking in, and in my hood, they got cameras everywhere, gang. If we, as soon as we pull on the block and get out the car and we stand right there for 20, 30 minutes, they smacking that bitch. 12 mm. hitting that bitch. Four, yeah, you three gotta cars. You got to think about this. The police that been locking us up our Forever. whole life. Right. So, so they pull it right up door at us. Hey, come here. Woo, woo. What man. you doing, man? We ain't doing shit the f on. Oh, but they knew us our whole life. Like, man, we just locked, we locked you up when you was a kid for a good. Or I believe you robbed the motherfucker. Hmm. So that's how they do it. That us. shit be crazy. That's they crazy. don't never forget about that shit. They be how many crazy. questions we did? We been kicking it too much. We, we did basically asked. all of them. We man, did. We've we been at like two hours. On phone them. This gonna be a long that's ass. That's an interview. epic interview right there. You chop this shit up, or it's just go like. We do clips, but we, we put out the full thing first. No, it's gonna be a huge one. It's going crazy. Ask me some old funny questions, though. Um. Oh, I forgot to tell you my favorite lyric. Of I would have. I hate when a goofy die. That's fact. They always trying to say they the muscle. They always trying to say the muscle. Oh my <laughs> dead homie gang, look. <laughs> that I makes you laugh every time. Die, gang. Look, nigga, look. It could be a goofy ain't never did shit, never had no money or none of that. He gonna die, and this is what they caption be on Facebook. 
I can't <laughs> believe you did this to me. You the muscles and the brains of this shit, Long bro. Little How little you bully. do this? Long live the bully. Yo, mm. oh, this nigga Bill. ain't Yo, did, Super Kill life. Bill. This nigga ain't never did shit to, to nobody. nobody. Talking about the bully. <laughs> That's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really smokers for putting it out. Facebook killer. Oh my damn homie, that shit is real. Like, yeah. Knock on wood. If I ever get something ever happen to me, please y'all do not say I'm the muscle for. Sis, call me to rap or something for. Don't say, don't do no <laughs> shit like that for. Cause niggas be talking about they the muscle ain't never did shit for the hood, never did shit to nobody. Right. Nah, I believe you. That's just oh. like even though I can't like directly relate to that one, every time I hear it, I just laugh thinking about. Oh, that's some funny shit. I for real. I he say that's some funny. I shit. mean, they always just gassing people up in general. So Everybody. What you think the funniest verse he ever said? Yeah, like in its entirety, I don't know. I'm more like just thinking like one liners, but yeah, just in general, the shit. Is so, up. what's my best song to you, though? Shit, what's your best song? I don't know. Honestly, like when I listen to it, they I just listen to the mixtape from beginning to end. Yeah, and it's just got like a lot of different uh Crazy great shit. moments on it. But the free break freestyle and then the ops on deck, I think are the ones that I've used for Instagram. Uh, Soundtrack. Yeah, so. I seen you do that shit. Feel like those kind of everybody hit be the sending hardest. me the shit you be doing and shit. Yeah. So all right, I use your song as the Instagram photo soundtrack, and then people tap in with you right away. That's how I get a rapper's attention now. Now people uh just send me the story. Like I go to my message with like my I fuck with my fans super heavy. Like my fans that see this and my support, I fuck with y'all super heavy. They make sure I see everything, gang. Like everything. Like when I seen Sexy Red listening, when they seen everybody seen Sexy Red listening to my shit. That shit was all in my DM. Like, everybody was sending me that shit. Uh, everybody that posts my song, they my fans send it to me. I always go through my, my message requests. Mm. So I be seeing a lot of shit. So when it comes to beats, do you just use whatever? Or you got specific people that you lock in with? Uh, I use whatever, but, like, for my tape, it's shit. Ew. I got weird. Huh? Sleepy head over there, yeah. Uh, for my tape. <laughs> uh, hell, yeah. That tape. <laughs> My homie Hancho, his little dirt ass, he out there. He did that. He, like, we did a lot of shit on our tape, to, on my tape together. So I was really locked in with him. Like when I locked in the studio, I recorded my whole tape in our home studio. So mm -hmm. I was in that bitch locked in with me and Hancho. Yeah, yeah, that's why I feel like that tape so raw. Like they made that bitch out of like uh, oh, the it wasn't basement. Really like no, 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 no. Like don't you know how you get up with people and it'd be like oh some scrape business type shit. Mm -hmm. This well, is they real. That bitch like on some brother shit like. Got the vibe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. These my brothers. I'm making this shit around all my brothers. No more. Like, like we in no, that bitch. We in that bitch. Like not all that bitch. We in that Kicking bitch it, all not night. Not sleeping in that up, bitch. Don't get no fuck oh, about that. Look, we in this bitch. This we have a hoes pull up. All not type eating of shit. So I ain't gonna lie. We used to be. I had my managers frog and them order me some food, but. I'm making them order all type of shit, so we ain't really, we wasn't just having bread like that. We was having money, but not no money to be ordered. $75 worth of food every day and shit. We yeah. doing this shit every day, two nights in a row, yeah. three nights in a row. Love I'm in that, but then I'm going to the crib, taking a shower, coming right back, doing the same thing. Uh, yeah. mm. I was just like, like, I made my tape and like, 30 days, 45 yeah, that days. That tape, that, that, that was a good ass tape. Like, everybody, I feel like that shit was like, Man, that tape, that, that's a raw ass tape. But how long does it take you to make a song? Quick as hell. Right. I be making songs fast. I was just in the studio with, uh, you know the nigga who do the guitar, Erna Banks? <laughs> yeah. He said he that's the, I made a song the fastest he ever seen. I'm going really? to make a song. Nah, he's dope. He's been doing his thing for a while. I'm brilliant. Nah, yeah. But how the fuck does it take you 30 days to make 15 songs if you make a song, like, instantaneously? It's like, you make a lot of uh, songs and I only made, do It got to be the raw shit. Like, the, all them songs. You don't know how to pick his music. Oh, bro, that's he it, done done. He done made, he I done switched made my 15, tape up. 20, 30, 40 songs already. And he, I switched up my tape. like, man, he'll send that shit here. I don't like this shit. Oh, bro, no, we'll man. think everything he put on that shit sound bro, good. Bro, bro, no. But he only said, we said that shit because we his homies. Like, man, for you, man, you don't want to be, man. Hell, yes, nah, this shit go crazy. He'll be like, man, I ain't feeling that shit type shit. Or, man, I don't want to I don't want to feel like a lot of shit that ain't on the, that ain't on the tape. Raw as hell. Raw as hell. Like, the like, songs like, I swapped out on like my that, tape, I got me? real heat on that shit. Like, mm. So I'm going to drop that shit like probably on some chillin' shit. But I'm working on my album right now. There's two songs in a row I can't can remember all of a sudden, but there's two songs in a row. I think it's Glock Bop and then Free Break Freestyle where you use the same lyric in both of them in a row. What I say? I forget already. But there's like one bar that you just you use like in both. Or like I use a bar and, and like damn near every song and like all of them. So you try to like just certain I bars just you like to repeat them and switch it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I switch it up. 
What's your relationship with Cairo? A fun, let me call him. Because <laughs> he said that his homie was taking your noodles in jail? Yeah, we be trolling a lot. That's my boy. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I feel like that was him trolling you a little bit. He probably don't, He probably getting drunk. He get drunk all day, every day. You see the video of him the other day with the baby Draco? Yeah. <laughs> he he, he want to be like me. <laughs> he want to be like me. He probably not going to answer, though. Yeah, he ain't gonna ask. He a, I'm finna text. Watch this. Look. Nah, I love that guy. He's hilarious. Watch what, I'm finna, <laughs> watch what I'm finna send him. You know you can send videos. Watch this. Let me still wait till it start ringing. It's live. No jump. I'm finna treat his ass. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the reply back. How he replied. That's how we talked to each other. Cairo almost got me killed. What? Because he, he's the one that the whole on, Wooski hold situation hold comes on, hold from. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Four, three, two, one. You goofy ass nigga When I catch you I'm killing your dumb ass I really don't even know Why I just called your bitch ass I just let a motherfucker Tell me to call you And you ain't answer You embarrassing me You goofy ass nigga And when we're I taking your noodles you. Tell him Tell him We're taking your noodles We're gonna kill you bitch What we gonna do to him Adam We're gonna kill you Fuck you somehow nigga <laughs> Now he knows You pressed it Oh He's calling back no, immediately This ain't Cairo no, Someone else No this ain't Cairo It's my other homie Damn, he fucked our video up. We can't oh. even send our shit, gang. Damn. He lucky, and We can't bro. redo it because they're yeah, going to see yeah, us redo it. it. The magic bro. is gone. All right, yo, I'm a huge fan of the music. How long do you think it might take before you uh, drop something else again? Or are you going to let this tape sit for a while? Uh, I'm going to drop. I drop, uh, like, you talking about, like, another project? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I f around and do a deluxe to my project. Because you weren't signed when you did the project, right? And now you are signed? What type of shit you on, bro? Well, I'm just wondering. What type of shit you on? I don't know. I'm just wondering. What type of shit you on? Will the new tape sound different because you're signed? Access to more beats, more features, etc. Who said I was signed? Didn't you say you were signed to, what, Universal or something? I ain't never said no shit like that. You putting words in my mouth? I think you did say that. Oh, I didn't. No? Wasn't my, my boy Jeff Vaughn was courting you? You know Jeff Vaughn? I do know. Who Jeff is that? Vaughn. He's a very, very good guy. Who signed a lot of the top drill rappers. Uh, I don't know him. No, you don't know? Never mind. You know all these motherfuckers. Stop trying to act like you ain't industry just because you're on camera. You industry that, now. No, I'm not. I'm you in, in the, the game. streets. See? That's what they all say. You industry, I'm in the streets. I'm both. Murdering niggas. I'm not doing that. I'm going to take you on a hit. I'm down. Do, do a little <laughs> vlog. <laughs> Hell no, nah, why you trying to vlog it? What's the point otherwise? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just be sitting on here like, yeah, man. Vaughn took me on a hit. Oh, Shit bro. was hard, bro. I can't talk about it, though. Nah, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I can't talk about, talk about it. You're going to talk about it. You're going to Vaughn, bounce out, chase a motherfucker three blocks. <laughs> wing, 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 wing. Then got back in the car, and we was just looking at each other. Your street cred is going to take a serious hit if you allow me to go on this sort of thing. Oh, it's not? Yes, it is. Oh, it's the not. whole rat going to be looking that's at you gonna, like a goofy. That's going to be some gangster shit. Like, I took Adam 22 on the hit. If you get away with it, yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to tell. We go, so that's what? not going to happen. I don't want to see. <laughs> I to leave you right with Buddy the best. <laughs> <laughs> not Buddy. Don't leave me with Buddy. See, we thought that shit crazy. For sure. All right, yo, I appreciate y'all for coming in. This is an epic interview. I feel like this is a classic. Yeah. going to go down in history. Facts. Probably going to start some commotion. Oh, the drum come out. Oh, that fucking lighter might have to be pulled out at some point in the near future. I'll flame out. That's how we do their ass. Oh, so. Blow their dumb ass out. It's a blowout on the scope board. Goodbye. Where's the coolest podcast? We murder motherfuckers over here. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. No job, our most murderous podcast in the world. Free the business. You know that. Like, comment, subscribe. So we out. Man, free MC, man. Free Romeo, free Famous, man. Oh, free, all free, the free the whole game. Oh, so.